minutes. And I miss y'all. Where am I being taken? What's up, y'all? Did y'all miss me? Because y'all like my family, my cousins. Look what I'm doing today. This is so cute. You like this, Brie? Or you want what? You want me to add something to it? Let me see it. I feel like she got a deeper blue, and I kind of want to like this one. Yeah, let me yeah, add a little bit of like a turquoise. Yeah, I got to add this and a little bit of green. Yeah, we're playing around with a color mix right now. We're trying to recreate something that we've seen on Insta. Um, I think we need a couple deeper, darker colors in there. Just giving a little too pastel. I'm just making a mess too that Monique is gonna have to clean up. What's up, Ramonda? Don't hear that demand. Look at y'all. Hi, is it Verenity? Verenity. Hi, Mercedes. Hi, Sharina. Abigail, what's good, gang? You know, you always be in here. So yeah, my client has some beautiful, thick, 4C hair that we just, um, I gave her a trim. Almost cut my knuckle about four or five times. I'm so happy I didn't do it. Oh yeah, that color is about to do it. Where Dean could see me. That color is about to make it. But I feel like I need to put a little green in here too. You don't make think so? Make it do what it do. Green? Yeah. Yeah. Cause it looks like hers is like a blue green, huh? Yeah. She has like a fuchsia color. I just don't. I don't know what color that is. They're like pink. They're like, yeah. Cause my pink is like pastel. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, I'm trying to make this color mix. It's gonna sense. work out. Huh? I say it's gonna work out. I mean, this is a deeper pink. Than this pink. Yeah, that's cute too. I think I'm gonna say everything's cute. <laughs> right, you just feeling Monique's feeling everything at this point. You're a great hype man though. Let me see. If you don't need no, you better hide your best yet. You don't need no, you better hide your best. You better throw it. I throw it. I throw it. You be talking talking break? I cannot dance. Me either. Me either. <laughs> Is that a California girls thing? Maybe we just can't twerk for real. <laughs> I don't know, because my best friend, she can. She can? Yeah, but she also has I know a couple bitches so. who can twerk, but not like I be seeing on Instagram. Like thinking. They be throwing it in a circle. What's up? Did y'all miss so something too? Oh, yeah, see, that's doing something. It's starting yes, to look, it's, it's yeah. starting to look different. It's that other one was different. just very light. Yeah. It was, all it the colors, very subtle. All the colors were looking the same, huh? Yeah, they were getting very subtle. Yeah, they were. I'm nervous about this green, but I'm just okay. my instinct. Put it all in there. I was nervous, you know. Why yeah. I this little? <laughs> like not be throwing one strand out. I was nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay. Don't be, don't be, don't be nervous. Like, no, you're okay. It's okay. You can call her out her name. You cuss her out. You better throw it, throw it. Oh, I gotta read the comments. Okay, I guess this is giving something. Yes, yeah, giving something. To it. Mm. And get my charger so I don't leave it. Please do. I love when people leave their chargers here. Oh, I need my eyebrows done. Me too. You want to open them up? Uh, actually, I am. I know. That's why I'm like, what are you doing for Martinez? I'm getting my lashes done. Oh, by her daughter. Mm hmm. That's my new lash tech. Responsibilities. Dude, you know that dog could be in his house by himself for a couple hours. He's been there all He's day. He's not gonna do nothing. By himself. But my thing is, if I didn't have him, oh shit. Not too out the fall. Him, I could just go home with you and wash my clothes. Because you already got underwear at the house. Everyone. I mean, do you want to, me to, us to pick him up? I can go get him right now. No, because he can't come here. Yikes. And I would usually not care, but I don't want to break no more rules before I get kicked out. I can put him in a bag, don't let me know. Mm. Put him in a bag, don't let me know. Mm. 
Okay, this is looking better. Loving the shirts now. What's up, PJ? It's giving like mermaid. Mm -hmm. You want it darker? I mean, I like it like that. Yeah, that's cute. Working. Working together. Don't brush it anymore because you brush it on the pencil. <laughs> oh, God. Should I add a little, cup, little bit more? No. You can just add some like in the braid. <sighs> Did you see Little Mermaid? Mm -mm. Monique, fake ass, watched it without me. Wow. We could watch it tonight, so hush. No, I don't like you. Oh. Don't cancel on me and then watch the movie that we were supposed to watch together. Because I've been asking and asking for two weeks. Mm -mm. I've been trying to go on a date with you for two weeks. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So yeah, I'm doing medium knowledge on her, y'all. We're just doing a peekaboo pop of color in the back because it's June. So like, why not? I don't want no basic people in my chair. Pop of color or gets or on or I'll see you in July. <laughs> when it's basic bitch season. When it's basic B season. But if you're LGBTQ, <laughs> then you're getting color, baby. If you're LGBTQ. Red, blue, yellow, green. Purple. Purple. This Red is not rainbow. This is like mermaid, but still, this Red is giving. Yellow, green, blue, this ain't giving LGBTQ, but it's yeah, giving man. freedom. That's what it's giving. <laughs> and then I decided to put the bees on because I'm extra as fuck. Yeah, Monique, Monique is extra LB, LGBT. Yeah, she's Hella extra LG. Hella extra the LGBTQ. Where the bitches at? <laughs> not where the bitches at. <laughs> yeah, she been outside living her best life, and I'm actually not mad at it. I like to live through her because you know I'm, I'm locked down. I'm locked in. Ain't no, Ain't no switching up for me. But Monique, it's only the second day of summer and she's been outside. And she's been, been so outside, I weekend. thought she was a tree. You seen that meme I posted? Yeah. <laughs> I'm finna be so outside this summer, you gonna think I'm a tree. I don't I'm nothing, y'all. I'm a weed right now. Cause I've been, wow, tap I've been tapping ass. your ass. I've been, uh, I've been bored in the house and I was bored. Girl, I don't know. Okay. Actually, no, I have been doing stuff though. Just not outside stuff. Right? No. Oh. You've Ow. been mommying and businessing. Well, who, who other mommy is going to be outside? I even have to get the LG Ben Tiki Kende. What's next week? She going to Pride, right? No, she's like, I can't wait till next week. But what's next week, Abby? Who said they can't wait till next week? Abby. Oh, Abby. I want to try light brown and dark pink mixed together. That, you know what colors hit is a 30 in pink. And I'm about to do that on somebody. Don't forget I said that. No, that's hella ugly. Uh, uh, that's ugly. No, PJ, it's not right in here. Not me trying to instantly take it back. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, Essence Festival. She's seeing Meg Thee Stallion. I think Meg Thee Stallion is headlining, right? Ain't that what you said? Thanks. Next time I she see you, Abigail, your knees better look. be swollen. Dancing to her. What's up? Thank you. What's that? Skittles gummies. You always try an off brand candy. This is not off brand. This is Skittles. <laughs> no, like, you, no, because it's giving too many purples. Oh, you don't like grape stuff, huh? Mm-mm. That's one behind you, Phil. <laughs> Get your dookie booty. <laughs> That's not giving. Yeah, y'all. Um, I'm trying to be outside. What the moms be doing? I took my son to the park, though. That shit was hella fun. I got to sit down and watch oh, yeah, him play. Yeah. I did. I sure did. You want to do half red and half bleach blonde straight backs? Oh. Hi, red. That's kind of like what my cousin Jazz had. Y'all hair forever getting stuck around your earrings. It hurt? Mm-mm. It's just okay. annoying. Mm. Abigail. I watched the Married at First Sight reunion. It was kind of boring. But I thought about you when I was watching. I was like, I know Abby going to be like, Panna, have you tuned in? Yeah, they're boring me. They're boring me. They're boring me. They're boring me. Yeah, they are. Got my nails done yesterday. Okay, me too. Not moms do mom shit. Boring. Don't PJ, do us. PJ. PJ said that. He said boring? Yeah. No, it's not boring what we do, first it's of not. all. It's a whole lot of uck and fay. Oh. Y'all don't speak pig Latin, so y'all don't know what I said. <laughs> you caught that brief? Yes. Oh, my God. 
Oh, that's a cute little hairstyle. I feel like I belong in the 60s. Not that bad, yeah. <laughs> no, but people do wear their hair like that. No, for real. They really do. That's how you finna go to church. <laughs> Will you have a daughter one day? Not you in my seat. Oh, you want it? In a second. In a second. Well, happy LGBT human to all of y'all who are LGBT. <laughs> I love y'all. <laughs> Oh, no. All y'all that's LGBTQ. I love y'all. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go to Pride or not. I just feel like I for sure can't take high. So it's like, do I want to have somebody watch my son so I could go do what? What's up, Danielle? Tomorrow's your birthday. It's just okay, giving germs and next. chaos. I don't know if I like big crowds no more, y'all. What y'all thinking? You gotta bump the bang if she went to church like that. No, for real. <laughs> Put a little curl or on it. On the bump line. that used to really kill me every time. And my mom used to like, it'll make it look longer. No, no it, it makes it look longer. Shorter. shorter. Yes, it makes it look shorter and rounded. It's called a bump. You're not gonna trick me with that. It'll actually look longer if you just let me bump it. <laughs> Monique, don't lie, cause you have the ponytail with the back bump just sure like this did. while you laughing. I did. You have the neck bang and you have the top bang. Mm -hmm. The top bang, and we got pictures to prove picture. it. <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely pull up a picture. Why you laughing? We all getting burnt at the stove. <laughs> I'm so weak. Hell no, Panda. To be like, I miss my baby. My fucking sister pisses me off with that shit. Like, get out. No, she literally dropped her son off to me one day, y'all. Five seconds later, tell me I miss my son. I said, girl, bye. She's like, you're going to it's just like not that she don't think he okay but she misses her son it's her no family. i instantly just be missing him it's like i be thinking in my head he's probably like where's my mom like no. not with me he don't oh he just be thinking about how much fun he having yes uh, okay. and the bad things i'm teaching him to spit or what i didn't teach him that mm -hmm. <laughs> he turned it on his own i just intensified it a little bit let me be spitting back i do he kind of stopped that though. No, the hell he didn't. Not with me, he didn't. Maybe he doesn't like what you feed in him. The shit that you provide? Or the dirty ass air in your house. Never that. <laughs> so he's trying to spit it out. Uh, look, look, look. <laughs> Why that's not that not like a part? <laughs> Now, when my son grows up and he's hawking loogies, I know who to blame. <laughs> Why is he really spinning like that? You'd be your own family, y'all. Big pen. Did you know the person you gave cash to, y'all? Should I tell them that story? First, watch him. You be rolling? Yeah. You rolling? Where you going? Yeah, where'd you hear going? Oh, it's another spit video. Hold on. Molly, we don't need to see videos. I need to tell them this story, y'all. Actually, I almost cried yesterday. Let me tell y'all. So I couldn't find nobody I knew that would take cash, right? So, somebody on my Facebook page has suggested, dang, wait, did I text it to you, Mo? No. I didn't text you the picture of cash? Oh, yes. Okay, because I'm, I'm using both my phones right now. Yes, yeah. So, I basically, I'm going to show it. Yeah, I'm gonna show, we're going to show it when I get to that part. Okay. So, um, basically, I went in a dog chihuahua rescue group in uh, Sacramento, right? Because somebody was like, oh, there's this uh, chihuahua dog rescue group where like peace people will foster dogs which i don't even know like about fostering for real they'll foster your dog or like they just love chihuahuas and they're looking to like help you rehome them so i'm like okay so i jump in the group i post cash obviously everybody wants mellow because he's a shiba inu german shepherd mix so he's hella smart and he's hella cute obviously like not the cash is not cute because not too much on my baby but 
you know. So anyway, get in the group. I put about, you know, posted about cash. And this lady hit me up and was like, oh, like, I'll take him or whatever. So I'm like, oh, shit, that was, like, so easy, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. So she sent me a message and she was like, tell me about potato, right? So I'm like, okay, I don't know who the fuck potato is. But I proceeded to tell her about Cash. I'm like, he's this, this, this. And, you know, I felt like I should be honest with her because y'all know Cash is aggressive. So I told her, I'm like, you know, he's like this, blah, blah, blah. Because she sent me a picture of her two chihuahuas, right? So. Thank you so much. So, um, <laughs> sorry, I was reading somebody's comment. So, yeah, I'm like kind of excited now because she had her own dogs and she was just like super excited about taking him. But it was given a little weird. But, like, also, I'm, like, she just seems like she hella loves dogs, right? So, then, she messaged me again, right? And she was, like, so, tell me a little bit more about Potato. And I'm, like, who the fuck is Potato? Like, <laughs> who the fuck is Potato? Anybody who knows my dog, he does not need to be named after no food item. If you don't rename him, it needs to be Savage, Killer, Mob, Gangsta, <laughs> Crip, Blood. Sorry. Like, not, no, Cash is not giving potato. And he's not finna answer to that. And you're gonna get bit, right? So I'm telling her about him. I'm like, yeah, he doesn't really, um, because she was like, yeah, bring all his clothes, his toys, um, you know, telling me everything to bring. And I'm like, ma'am, like, that dog does not wear clothes. He does not really play with toys. <laughs> he does. She's like, bring his leash. He does not go on walks. Like, I don't think you understand. And she's like, oh, he um just needs somebody who's going to be patient with him. So I'm like, okay, you know. So boom, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm about to give her the dog. So we arrange it. Y'all, I told her I live 45 minutes away from her. I'm on my way. I'm waiting at the office right now. I said, I'll be there in 45 minutes. When it came to 20 minutes. Are you close? Bit. like I said 45 minutes like bruh so I'm like you know I'm trying to get her I actually brought Amani with me because I was like I might just need some moral support because I did need to give my dogs away but I also I wanted to too but I just was like you know in the moment you just start to like think about everything so I'm like okay you know so I'm driving up there we get there we get there y'all I can't even park the car she walking up to the car where's potato is that potato so now i'm getting kind of irritated because it's like bitch i just told you seven times like his name is not potato right so she told me to bring his crate mind you cash does have a crate that's kind of big but it's like i put a blanket in there and like you know his food will be in there it's not no tiny ass crate where he can't right, move. Where he needs to be able to like move. he needs to be able to move let me put you in a crate and see how you like like legit cool. and so she was like oh that crate is big right so i'm thinking like first of all bitch like cash is hella bougie and he's not gonna go in a little ass carrying case that's what it's giving that you want but i told her i was like she was in an apartment so i'm like okay well maybe this is too big for your space so like i'll instacart you a new uh crate right so she's like, okay, I'm a groomer. I'm just going to love him. I'm going to take care of him. And she was like looking at his nails. And his nails are really long. Like, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to be cutting their nails because Dre tried to cut it one time and they started bleeding. And we were like, yeah, we don't know how to do this for real. So his nails do be long sometimes, especially since he doesn't go on walks. So I'm like, yeah, you know, he, he, he needs a little grooming or whatever. Like, okay, cool. So I say my goodbyes. Oh, no, 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 no. I text her. I'm like, yeah, let me know what size crate you want so I can have it Instacarted, right? So she didn't text me back for hella long. I'm like, what is this lady doing? Y'all, she texted me. She said, she texted me and she was like, just got done grooming um, and cutting his nails. I'm so happy. He's, what'd she say in the message? Did I see the message? Yes. I just got done grooming and cutting nails. I found a harness. I'm so happy. He is so special and very doc. What is he? Docile? Do she docile. docile. Okay. I'll take a picture. She told, She said he was very docile. Mind you, I told her because she wanted me to give her all his clothes. Like he doesn't have clothes and he no does way. not like clothes. Like I put clothes on him and he'll literally like try to get it out. Like try to get it off of him. Like slide out of it. Right. Cash. Is not docile. Nothing about Nothing him about is docile. Him. So I'm like, hmm? Y'all, let me show y'all this picture of, that she sent me a cash. This literally almost gave me a heart attack. First of all, where is my dog's hair? 
And why is his neck nicked like that? He looks miserable. He literally looks miserable. And what is this on him? Look at this. No, y'all, I'm about to cry. Look at this picture of Cash. What is this? But in the entire. And he's a small hair dog. Like, why did he need to be cut like that? Like, why did you cut his hair off? Y'all, I was literally fighting back tears because um, I'm like, how am I going to get my, my, my dog back? Tell her. I'm getting my dog back. I'm going to come get him. Sorry, but I'm going to come get him. So I was like talking to Amani. I'm like, she has to go. I'm like, I am do I like say something to her? Because like, why? Like, ma'am, you're not a professional groomer. Like, clearly. Like, Monique, you seen Cash. He did not oh, need his no, hair cut down like that. Me. So I'm like, maybe. If, if she... anything, she could have gave him a good bath and just brushed him. But I had him. already bathed him. I already bathed yeah, him, y'all. Yeah, so, yeah. and when I got out the car, when I got out the car and she was holding him, she was like, she was like, you smell so good. Your mommy bathed you. And I was thinking like, yeah, like, did you think I was going to bring you like a dirty dog? Like, not that Cash is dirty, but like, why would I bring a dog to you without washing dog, him? Then why would she cut his hair? Right. Fuck no. Oh my God. No, seriously. No. So like, bring Cash back. Okay. So I didn't to respond go. to. I didn't respond to the picture because y'all, honestly, I watch hella people's court, and I was thinking like, in the event that like I need to get this dog back some way somehow, I don't want to be like hella aggressive or anything in the in the messages. <sighs> yeah, like I want to show. Like I just didn't want to respond because at first I was gonna say, oh, like. I didn't even know how to respond. And then it's like, what do I say at this point? Because, like, I gave her the dog. Like, I feel like I could be like, no, give me my dog back. She's probably going to be like, what? what? No. Right. You know? But then also it's like, what? The F. This is BS. I would get my dog back. And then the thing is, is like, y'all, I know my dog, and he looks hella sad. Mm -hmm. He looks hella sad. Like, his eyes were hella red. Mm -hmm. And, like, we, Cash doesn't really go to get groomed. Like, we just bathe him ourselves because he's super small. And, um. His hair is hella short, bro. His hair is hella short. Like, we literally just bathe him ourselves. And if his nails are hella long to be honest we be like taking him outside he walk around a little bit like uh -huh. and it just oh. grinds down that's how it is right. naturally but but he's not even an outside dog he doesn't go on walks so the nail cutting part is legit the but nail the cutting hair... part didn't look bad but like i'm like why does he look like that and then pull the picture back up pull the picture back up so when i gave her to him cash did have an outfit he had a, a he had like a turtleneck on but it was not this and I'm like, what is this turtleneck? Like, first of all, it's hella loose. And what is that loose ass harness? And I've already told you, he does not go on walk. So you're going to take him outside. And you're gonna first of all, he's going to bark at every other animal because he doesn't like that. And he's not going to walk. He's going to stand. He's going to like, if you put a leash on him, he's going to stand there like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's not going to move. And I've tried everything. Like I put the leash on him. And, like, I've walked Melo literally around the corner, and he will not move. Like, he stayed right there in front of the house. When I hit that corner back around, he was literally in that same position. Like, he's not going to do it. So, y'all, I thought about, like, okay, so when she had messaged me the first time, right, it took me a little second to respond because it kind of threw me off. Like, who's Potato? Like, what? And so the, the admin owner of the page had messaged me and was like, hey, make sure you – um." respond like she wants you know basically wants your dog to be rehomed and then um before I had brought him she was like he's free right and I'm like yeah he's free like I feel like my dogs are like my kids I'm not selling them off to people like I just want to find a good home like I don't you know but then I was in the uh I went back to the page today and somebody was like be careful giving them to people who are just looking for free dogs and blah 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 but he's fixed so I'm like I mean I don't know, but I've been thinking about that, y'all, since... That happened yesterday. I've been thinking about that since today. Like, since today. I'm like... Last night, I was thinking, I was like, oh, my God. Uh, is Cash sleeping good? Like, I don't know if this lady is just quirky or if... She's not. You know, like, I think... Like, 
genuinely when I was talking to her I got a real feel that she really does love dogs and like she's just one of those people who like you know how like your dog is your life because I, I was like looking through her pictures on Facebook and she like dresses her dogs up for Christmas and like she just seems like one of them extra ass people and so I'm like okay maybe it's that but I, don't I instantly it, I regretted it. I instantly regretted it, y'all. But, you know, also, there's a part of me that's like, Cash had to go. Like, first of all, he, I didn't tell a lot of y'all this, but he, first of all, he bit my nephew, who literally plays with him all the time. He bit him and he was bleeding. Mm -hmm. I can't have that around my son. You feel me? Like, because especially since my son, since my son is about to start crawling, um, like, Cash is really, he, he is really aggressive. Like, he is aggressive. So, like, there's that you aspect. Can't risk it. Yeah, I can't risk that. And then on top of that, it's like my son is um, showing signs of allergies. So, my my uh, doctors had told me, like, you know, it's a good chance that it's a pet allergy. And so, I'm trying to get his, like, skin under control and just he be coughing, sneezing when he's at home. So, there's also that. So, a part of me is, like, trying to tell myself, like, it had to be done. But I'm just, like, uh. Cash will be fine. He will adjust. She seems like she won't harm him. She, that's the thing, like, she did seem really nice. It's just that picture for me was kind of alarming because it's, like, my first thought was, like, was it necessary for you to cut his hair off? So I started thinking, I'm, like, maybe she tried to cut him down to see if he had, like, fleas or something. Like, maybe she was just trying to get a fresh coat going. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But that threw me off. And even Dre was, like, this is making me hella sad. So, I'm like, I was telling myself in my head, I'm never getting another dog because this is just. Yeah, you really get attached to Melo. No, you really do. And so, Melo actually went to my auntie and my cousin. My cousin Jazz, who always gets the color in her hair. Melo went to them. So, that was super easy because, um, you know, you know we could see them anytime. I could damn near go over there and spend the night if I want to. So, that's good. Melo, he, um, he's actually a great dog around kids and everything, but he sheds a lot. And so he just be leaving dog hair everywhere he goes. And then he's also super high energy. So he just was kind of like a lot to deal with too with the newborn. Um, and I felt bad because with my work schedule and being a mom, like I wasn't walking him as much as we should have because he really needs to be walked twice a day. And instead of us walking him, like we used to at least walk him once every day. Either I would do it or Dre would do it. But once we had the baby, that cut back dramatically, especially since I had a C-section. And then now it's like he kind of gets walked every, he gets walked like a couple times a week. Like, that's not right. That dog is hella active. And so I knew I was like, I need to give him to people who can like at least play with him in the house every day. So, yeah, I just, I'm like so bummed out about cash, but I'm just hoping that my gut instinct, my original gut instinct was right. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to have to show y'all more pictures another day. Because if y'all seen her dogs, y'all would be like, oh, okay. <laughs> she like puts them in like Christmas turtlenecks with a scarf on. like, And they're little ass chihuahuas, bro. I was like, first of all. <sighs> so yeah. Yesterday, I was with Kai. I, I texted my husband. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, not Monique on her Instagram. Her, her Facebook. Okay, look. These are her two other dogs. But you see, this is just, it's just like extra. Like, Cash is, not, Cash is not going for this. He's not doing this. But maybe she can convert him. Maybe she can convert him. This dog is cute as hell, though. I ain't gonna lie. But no, there's a, let, me show you the, let me show you the Christmas one where I was like, yeah, Cash. Is, I don't know if she's public. No, she's not public. She's a super sweet lady, but when I seen this picture, okay, look, this no, picture. No. <laughs> don't isn't she just hella extra? Yeah. I think okay. you were right to give him away, but I don't know. That lady seemed very weird to me. And then it's like I wanted to text her and be like, I don't know if you're changing his name to Potato or if that's just a term of endearment. But it's like not gonna I just don't want his name to be Potato. <laughs> it's not nobody important. Okay. Like, come on. What is all of this? Oh my god. 
I'm stressed out. Don't yeah, I kind of wanted to. I was like, maybe you're doing too much, but I wanted to text her and be like, hey, how's Cash? And I wanted to see if she goes like, oh, his name is Potato now. So then I would tell her like, that's not okay. Like but I don't. You can't tell her that because it's her dog now. Potato, no. potato, tomato, tomato. No. No. It's so funny because Amani was dying laughing. And I was like, bitch, it's not funny. Because she was like, potato. And it's just like, knowing Cash. Maybe he, I was like, maybe he is docile over there because he's probably. He's in distress. In a, he's probably in a culture shock. Like, bitch, what the hell is this? What is this? Oh, he's getting ready to be spoiled by his new mommy. Oh, he is, guys. I want to show y'all a picture of her, but that's just, it's too much. But if y'all seen, y'all would be like, oh. Huh? Exactly, that's why I'm like, no. But she's, she seemed like a sweet lady. It's just, only thing was that picture, y'all. It kind of threw me off. Y'all think I should say something or I should leave it alone? Just look out for pictures of him that she posts. Yeah. But I wanted to add that. her. I wanted to add her on Facebook because I just wanted to see. But I'm like, I need to detach from him. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't even do that. I need to detach because I feel like seeing him all the time and then like, oh my god, this is what that happens to my poor baby. <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> yeah. No, she better not give him away. I thought about texting her too and being like. Okay, if first you of think all, about giving them away, give them back to me. Yes. Yeah. Um, but what was I gonna say? Um, that's why I kept following the page because I'm like, just in case, if I see him up there, I'm taking him back. Like, I'll take him back. I think PJ has said something like, "You get get him back, and he gonna act a fool on you for giving him away in the first place." <laughs> like you tried me. <laughs> he gonna get to bite your ankles, mm-hmm. huh? No. Um. I don't think so because she's so like I was telling her about him being like you know a little aggressive and she's like she's like oh I'm gonna show him so much patience and attention and y'all she was hella excited so we had agreed to drop him off yesterday at five and she was like hey I didn't take any breaks at work today so I can leave early I'm so excited I was like okay Uh bitch come on now she was hella juice, y'all. She was like, I'll be there at 3.30. Like, okay, I'm not going to be there at 3.30. I'm going to be there <laughs> at 4.45. Okay? Because I had already planned my day out. And I'm like, so I told her, I was like, I have a newborn. So, you know, my day is, is already kind of planned. But she's like, okay, well, I'll be waiting in the office. I'm like, you're really excited. I'm going to be picking my baby up. No, for real, so... But I haven't heard nothing from her today, so hopefully he's well behaved and doing his thing. But she doesn't know, y'all. But I will say, so so Cash was our first dog, and like Dre and I did a lot of things wrong with Cash. So I feel like for people who actually like have chihuahuas or know a lot more about dogs you know they can probably correct a lot of his behaviors you know what i'm trying to say because to be honest like yeah we didn't really know what we were doing when we got cash now Melo is a total 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 opposite but i will say cash is a very loving dog so if she's hella cuddling with him and like all up on him and then i was also thinking what if i picked him up and he like cried to go back with her because he's like no bitch i don't want to be at your stinking house where you barely give me food and then when we were on the way it was three o'clock and and i was like i'm on the way and she was like okay has he ate any dinner like what oh he on the schedule <laughs> no so that's the thing so also y'all i felt like a bad pet owner because she was like what's his pee schedule and I was thinking, like, what? When he goes by the door. <laughs> like, so I was like, well, I do let him out at 7 a.m. Because that's when Kai first wakes up and they'll be barking. So, you know, I always go downstairs. I let him out at 7 a.m. I let him out again at 10. The rest of the day is when he walks by the door and tells me he got to pee. I'm like, a schedule? So I'm like, I'm looking at Imani like, are my dogs supposed to be on the schedule? 
And she's like, what time does he eat? They kind of eat on a schedule. Like, usually I'll feed them, feed them in the morning at, like, 10 a.m. and then again at 4. But if I have to work, I'll feed them one time a day. So I was just like, mm. y'all was making up times. So I was like, yeah, 4, 6, 3, 2. Um, okay, <laughs> um, I crave, ab crave, egg lay, and say that schedule. <laughs> I'm so, so dumb. <laughs> no, for real. I should have changed it from Kai to Cash. Right. right. Straight up. <laughs> That's all funny. Chihuahuas are unhinged, but Mama got got something for that ass. <laughs> for real, y'all. She was so ready to take him on. I was like, oh my God. So yeah, sorry. I don't know. YouTube, sorry. I don't know why y'all was that close. But yeah, she's really happy. So I'm like, it was definitely giving loving. It's just the grooming. Like, you need a little more practice, ma'am. You should have sent that picture. Sent. No, like, why would you send that? He actually looks miserable. Mm -hmm. So and he's nicked all on his neck. Like, damn. Right? Like, you didn't think I was going to zoom into that? Then it goes to make me think, like, was he hella yelping and stuff? Because he looked like he just cried a fucking river. Yeah, I feel like y'all can't really tell on the screen, but his eyes were hella red. Yeah. Weren't they, Bree? No, they weren't. Like, they were hella red. When like, he just got done me, crying. I was like, oh, my God. Like, my literal response was like, oh, my God. No. <laughs> I said no. Okay, so the thing is that she gave me her address, right? Uh, so this is the plan. That. She gave me her address so I could so I can get uh, so I could send his clothes and his toys from the house, right? So I was thinking, y'all. Okay, so wait. Also, <laughs> she was like, "Are his shots updated? Because they have to be updated in order for him to stay in her apartment." And so I'm like, "Okay." Oh, and she got an apartment. He has like oh, his he yeah. has his flea shots, but I don't know if like he has other shots that he's supposed to get. So I was gonna go down there, right? And I was gonna be like. Oh, let me just take him to get the shots because I don't want you to have to, like, do any extra work. No, and no, he's, no, he's due for no, some no, shots. No, back. <laughs> I was going to No, okay, plan number one. If she's like, oh, yeah, you just take him to the vet and get the shots. Because I was going to tell her, you know, I had a plan, a payment plan where the shots are already paid for. So I just got to take him to get it. But they need my ID. They need me. Somebody told me to do that. I can't remember who, who it was. That's smart. Maybe it was Tyree. But, um, yeah, so, or maybe it was Meek. And so, boom, I get cash back and he never returns. <laughs> or I have her address, right? I can dress up as a fake Amazon driver and act like I'm there to deliver the package. Boom, Call swipe it. cash, get out of there. You don't think you're going to jail. She got a, a ring. No, if I have a mask on and I'm like, I have a package here. And then when cash hears my voice. I say, Cashy, Cashy, Mommy Baby, <laughs> Mommy Baby, and then he'll run. Boom, we out of there. She's older. She can't catch me. <laughs> Y'all, what if she was really a Olympian track star <laughs> and a hurdle champion, and she jumped over the box mm -hmm. and got my ass, and then I ended up on the twelve o'clock news? <laughs> mm -mm. No, Dre has an Amazon vest because he used to work there, and I was just thinking like I could put it on. I know the apartment number. Knock, knock, knock. One ca once cash hears my voice, he's gonna go crazy. No, straight up. Like, oh my god, oh my god, it's my mom. Get me out of here. What if she opened the door and instantly pepper sprayed me? And say, I was on your line, bitch. <laughs> like you tried it. What y'all think? I think that's a terrible idea. Point. The first plan, get him for his shots and never return. I can just delete her and block her. You have to go find me. She can't. She can't find me. You can find me in St. Louis. <laughs> Guys, I gotta get him back. No, you don't. You can't even get him back. <laughs> for the sake of the boot, you cannot get him back. I gotta get him back. <laughs> now let's see if that works. I'm so weak. It's a culture shock for him. He's not used to energetic 613. He's accustomed to being yelled at. Oh, no, she's, she's not, not a 613. 613. She's not a 613. She's black. That's the thing. 
people don't play about their dog, she's gonna come after you. I was thinking in my head, I wish I got him chipped, cause that way, like, as soon as she takes him on a walk, I could pull up in a van and just swipe his ass. <laughs> Here, doggy, doggy. I'm in distress. I'm in distress. I gotta get potato back. I gotta get potato back. <laughs> Potato. I really want to know if she changed his name to that. Oh no, she definitely did. Everybody's like, it's not your business. He's not your dog anymore. <laughs> you think so, Mo? Yeah, that's not your dog anymore. She doesn't want to call him Ash. What's it called? Potato. Potato, potato. <laughs> Wait, why me and Imani, Imani was joking? I said, what's the name of her other uh, dogs? Broccoli and lettuce. They the three veggies. No, straight up. Oh my god. Can you just tell her that you changed your mind? Can I? I mean, I feel like she wouldn't even respond. She was so guys, her <laughs> level of excitement was beyond anything I've seen. I've never had anybody so excited to take cash. That's what's That's crazy. She don't know. She he looked like a real cute, innocent little dog, and she has no idea. No, so okay, when I posted, she commented like the same day, right? And so I was like, let me go on this page and like see. And I ain't gonna lie. Okay, because the thing about Cash is like, y'all probably see him and be like, oh, he, he looked like a chihuahua. But his body is like a terrier. So he's kind of cute compared to like an right, apple chihuahua. head or like a teacup because he looks like a chihuahua, but he has like a terrier body. And so I was looking through the Chihuahua Rescue Group page and I was like, damn, these dogs is kind of like ugly compared to Cash. Like... He's actually hella cute. It's not how I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I need my dog back. Girl, then you're gonna be like, shut up. No, for real. <clears throat> Ooh, that's better because that was stressing me out. Oh my God. Girl, now that you got these thick blunt ends. Oh, you gotta oh, You just gotta cut, girl. Mm. You did it. Me over here struggling. Oh, this is really the struggle. What? Get in, tucking these ends. Uh -oh. I don't Ooh. know why you did that anyway. No, you. Are yeah, so no, no, you probably came in a little late. I, I basically said that I had to give. The main reason why I gave them away, the final straw, was that my son has an allergy. It's potentially an allergy to dogs. So that was the main reason. But yeah, on top of that, um, I've said before, Cash was aggressive. He bit my nephew. And my nephew was bleeding. He's bit Dre. He's bit Amani. He's pretty much bit everybody in the house except for me. So it's like with my son getting ready to crawl and be on the floor. Like, I really, like, you by my son, you finna be a corn dog, my nigga. Like, you're done. You're d If he bit cash and blush, mm, 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 mm. I'll be on the 10 o'clock news. So I knew it was time. It was time for me to break my bond that I had with, with cash. And then Melo just sheds a lot and just be everywhere and eating all the food. What would Dre say if you got him back? Dre would be hella mad. I said, say bye to Cash. He was like, bye. He, does not, he doesn't care for Cash, but that's because Cash has bit him like four times. But he's only broke blood like twice. So I was trying to tell Dre, like, stuck it up, bro. He's like, he bites. So there's that. And then, um, yeah, but when I sent him the picture, though, he was like, oh, that's making me sad. Because, you know, he does really hella love dogs. It's just Cash is a little evil. But if I got him back, that would be the final straw for, straw for Dre. Because we've gotten real arguments about him, about um, Cash. Like, real arguments. Like, Dre don't even want to be with me because he feel like I'm choosing that dog over him. And I was, but it's like, I love Cash. I love Dre too, but it's like, damn, it's just a little dog bite, bro. Is that crazy? Yeah, you get bitten and see how you feel. He wouldn't bite me, though. But it's like, Dre be doing stuff. Like, Antagonizing. trying to take stuff out of his mouth. Like, just leave him alone. <laughs> like, what? So, yeah. It was time for cash. But I miss so him already. So long farewell to you, my, my friend. friend. Goodbye for now. 
but we'll never meet again because I ain't going to doggy heaven. If there's a such thing. Yes, I miss them. Mm. Well, it's just day one, so you'll be high. I know, but I will say, like, I did enjoy waking up this morning to no dogs barking. I went downstairs to make Kai's bottle, and I usually have to let the dogs out, and I was like, hmm, I don't yeah, have to do shit. That. Yeah, but I do want them to be taken care of, though, so. I might have to check in on Potato. <laughs> I might have to hit her with a, how was Potato's first night? No, call and cash and see if she responds like, Potato was this month today. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if it's like you know how you say hey baby mm -hmm. instead of saying Kai or are you really going to call him potato because she said it at least four times within our conversation how's potato tell you me more about potato having two names for they, for their pets because somebody I know has a dog and his name is Sebastian but they call him Boogie oh like kind of how we are yeah like brave but panning mm -hmm. Mo, Phyllis but Mo Mo, but phenomenal. Oh, Mo, but phenomenal. <laughs> Ow. Y'all know I just love saying Monique government name. Girl. He probably gonna bite her ass. That's <laughs> My name ain't no damn potato. No, for real. Y'all guys have, okay. No, we call Cash, Cash, and Mellow, though. But they have short names. So maybe that's why. All right, Cash. Cashy, and washy. Mellow. Yeah, no. Cash, money, mommy, cash. baby. <laughs> oh my god y'all what if i started calling his name like cash cash and he ran to the door what if he followed my jeep and was running on the freeway and followed me home girl i got that he that's what cats do down the street that's what cats do did you know that mm -hmm. i know dogs do that though because andrea tried to leave her dog and that motherfucker was right there with her really yeah wow. should i do one more like just this section yes i was thinking that because it's like not giving enough yeah they're also medium or medium, whatever. These are medium. Medium. I said you medium. You love to say it's medium. Nothing about these are small. Monique thinks my braids are small. I miss cash. <sighs> Did nobody gonna say it? At least you no, know. Like, no, no. See, now y'all disrespectful. And you didn't even spell it right. No. So don't do that. Not too much. <laughs> no, what's up, Phyllis? <laughs> what you talking about, Phyllis? Willis. Y'all, it's P-H-Y-L-L-I-S. And don't start calling me that because I swear to God, I think I love. I will not talk to y'all ever again. Like, what? You really hate it that much? Yes, Why don't you I change do. your name? No, I just don't use it. And you need to respect me by not saying it. Who? You! Who are you talking to? Sorry, ooh dang, did I get in your cup? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, ooh. I'm sure you had a couple of pieces. You really be mad when I fight you, Phyllis? I just don't like it. Really? Yeah, I really don't. Hmm. Respectfully. Are you being serious? Yes. I'm always being serious. You always want to laugh at some shit. <laughs> I do. I'm sorry for laughing at time. I thought you was playing, man. Y'all, I, I felt cold and heartless. I was laughing at her breakup, and she was really in full on tears. Who you like tonight? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Not hey, Monique. <laughs> Was she talking to the crab? No, she's talking to me, but he's living. Who is that? Dungeness. <laughs> Who is that? Who? Ina J. Oh. <laughs> you heard that, Bree? No. You don't want to hear it. It's disgusting. She might like that, though. You never know. Mm-mm. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Knock you upside your head. Bree, don't answer that. <laughs> no, answer the question. Um, I've only experienced that once. Mm-mm. 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 
I'm just thinking about how dirty mine's are right now. Mm-mm. 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 <laughs> Monique's so fake. You be talking about, I'm done. I'm done with this person. And then the next minute, you just be all head over heels. No, I'm not even head over heels, but I just learned something new today. What? She likes my toxicity. She likes it that them crazy as fuck. I said, so then why the fuck you be trying to run? She likes your toxicity? Mm-hmm. That's so toxic. Why does she like that? I don't know. Look, I, I can show you the message. <laughs> what? I like your toxicity. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. What's it? What? I don't be lying. I need y'all to do better in 2023. <laughs> but guess what? I like when you toxic too because I like story time. Yeah, like, uh, like, Monique was in love. Life. I was so irritated. I couldn't wait for her to get cheated on. Or vice versa. <laughs> yes. I like stories. Why would you want me to be cheated on though? <laughs> because I just like stories. Okay, and I hope Drake goes fucks a million bitches <laughs> on your dog game. You would never. Dre, a million. A million is crazy. So you want me to have bums? Oh, you gonna fuck them after that? Nasty. <laughs> I just like an extra little seasoning. <laughs> it's already dirty. That's gonna be itchy. <laughs> I don't like that. Respectfully. Uh, guys. <laughs> Wait, what? Let's go. What are you talking about? This yeah, hurt I'm a little toxic in my a little, but I think it's just because I'm a little tender of it. Are you? It's like certain areas, not all over. Mm-hmm. But usually on my edges. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's oh, Monique. Oh, yeah, that's for sure me, girl, because I be having to be quiet when my edges are getting braided. Like, for real. You, feel, you think I braid tight? No. I don't think so. <clears throat> like, you wouldn't be like, it'd be hurting. Girl, tell the truth. Your hair still gonna be done. Girl, girl I've got worse. Yeah. A lot worse. Yeah, my sister. Heavy head. Your sister be hurting. Like, she hurt when I was little, but I was hella tender headed and a little dramatic. No, I think she's still a little, little heavy. She's touching her head. I can't even get it out. She's really Yeah, I can't even get it out. All right. Mama, 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 <laughs> Good night, Sierra. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Are you drunk? Are you sure? Because you sound a little slurred. You sound a little slurred in your video, too. Slurred lines. You said what? You know which video you sent me talking about you gonna eat my booty hole. Don't think about it too much, too much. Now what's wrong with Mo? She's in love, y'all. So, um, no. Baby, I just read the text message. I love that, that, that. Just kidding. Just Shiny. kidding. Y'all know I be playing and instigating. Don't want me to stop because people be. I've seen comps of women no. getting their hair braided too tight and it made me touch my edges. Mm-mm. What you mean comps? Like compilations? Hell no. I don't y'all. see that. <laughs> I was like, that's random. What does comps mean? I think compilation. Oh, yeah. No, the only way that that's happening is if you come to. I didn't watch the stuff and being like, and I'm being so serious mm-hmm. because you play too much and I don't like that shit. Like, you, you never had your hair braided so tight, your scalp be like. No, I never read shit. And like. Bumps? Yeah. I don't know that I ever had. But I will say, like, I really have only done my hair. I've had some people do my hair, but. 
No. No. Do you be saying something to them? Well, it no, hasn't I've been like that don't. since I was younger. Oh, uh, okay. But, because, yeah, I don't think I could, like... It was on some, like, you could barely what? even say something because you was a child for real. Yeah. Yeah, no, I ain't never had that. I am doing something. Toya! Toya been here. You ain't seen her? Toya, why did you do that? When you could have just texted me for an appointment. Oh, wow, Toya, you balling. Oh, my God. Toya on her rich energy today. They say it ain't tricking if you got it. <laughs> yes. I got a rich friend. Toya, when you trying to get your hair done, I feel like I got to be your hair respectfully as soon as you want. Mm -hmm. Nope, so he want to shit on my flow. So he's probably starving. Yeah, they started. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Can you pass me the uh, the brown hair, the black hair? So many days, so many hours, I'm to burn until you return. So, what you used to get regular box rides? Yeah. I know them joints was heavy. Yeah. When you first tried novice, were you like, oh my god, never again? Yes. Like for uh, the regular box right? Yes. I don't think I've gotten them since I've gotten novice. Yeah. I haven't either. No, but on my granny though, like on my granny though, in my six feet under father, like if you keep playing with me, it's not that like, no, I'm not going for that. I'm trying to show out because she don't lie. No, don't tell me to shut up because I'm being serious. She trying to show out in front of company. It's only been a while. She gonna mess with that girl. Yeah. <laughs> trying to show out. No, you're gonna stay on the phone like you used to. Oh my god! This is the first time I see you without lashes. I know. Wait, didn't you have like blue or something? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You feel naked? Yes. yes. Girl, that's how I feel when I don't have mine on. I'll be like, never again. Never, ever, 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 ever again. I'm going to probably get them to match my hair. <laughs> what color? Oh, uh, just whatever color you want. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know what would go. No, but did you have a good date with your friends? I'm like, do they even have those colors? Friends? Maybe not all of them. That was Twinkle in the background, too? I could probably get, like, two. All them bitches is fake as fuck. Y'all all fake. You say get two of the colors? Yeah. Like. A little bit of this and a little bit of that? Yeah, maybe blue. Sorry, y'all. It's probably my whippy, Ramonda. It's probably my wifi. It's probably my wifi. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Dominique, that's definitely what she's doing. Why are you in our business? Because y'all be talking shit. No, we not talking about you, boo. I'm talking to my friends. Where's my... What'd you do with that? Oh, I see it now. Ugh! I said shit out here like I'm dating. I'm Ellen Mary. <laughs> I said hey, shit out here. No, but I have to focus when I'm trimming these braids so I don't cut them. I need to focus on graduating. I need to focus How on graduating. How long are you going to school? Too long. Because I started after high school. 
but I've had to like take time off. And girl, that degree don't got no time. Uh, what? What's it called? Limit. Yeah. No, it doesn't take tell you how long it took. You know, I'm yeah. saying it don't oh, tell you all that. You no. just do you. Why is Cedric not sitting with me? So it don't matter. Why is he? Why is he over here gassing? Why Cedric? Why Cedric? Where you at? You over here? Trying to gas in you. What she say? So are you about to let Why Cedric whip you in this battle? No. Oh, it is. Why Cedric finna eat her up? Don't don't worry about what he said about modeling because modeling came out cute because everybody else was talking about how my colors was cute or the colors were cute. My blending just went crazy. <laughs> you don't know why Sasha very well to know that he just talked about the side of his neck. He's still wet behind the ears, though. He still has a lot to learn. Now he's still wet behind the ears. <sighs> too much. Mo, Mo going to win. Not too much. Come on now, Ty. Get off her nipples. She's not going to win nothing. <laughs> No, I got that. Listen, we haven't listen. done it yet. Should we do? Should we do? Uh, we should do it this week. I'm should we do it live? Yeah. No, we should not do it live. No, yes, because we're gonna see where the focus is. Because the live people, we want to see the comments. They want to respond, and this is a competition. We can't oh, do China's it here. She's gonna get narrated. Yeah. We don't have to do it at my house. Mm -hmm. Huh? China's talking about she wanna be a narrator, but this girl's gonna be in SoCal this weekend. We'll see if she makes her way to NorCal, because it ain't that far. Why is she gonna be in SoCal? Oh, now you're not going. Why? Because your best friend came back, so you don't need to go no more? Mm. Call her out. You was gonna drive by yourself, but now that she ain't going, you don't want to go. When I had asked you if you wanted a date, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go because she ain't she ain't bringing nobody. Trying I'ma punch your ass in the motherfucking throat. Yo, double chin, shut up. Cause yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, -uh. this why I can't date no female. Cause uh, -uh. <laughs> baby, you talk to me like that. We're fighting. No, we're scrapping. Cause what? Double chin is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. You're hell I would have been left you. You was not that cute to be talking no, to me like I that. Oh, that was a bitch. This is I do I'm like not. bad bitches. I do like bad bitches. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, you should have. You should have saw my post earlier. You should have saw my post earlier. Somebody said something like, "My thigh is bigger than your whole body, and you want me to sit on your face?" And I said, "Yes." <laughs> I don't like fluff for no reason. I could breathe. Uh, I said, smother me because I could breathe. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's okay. I kiss between them chins, baby. I kiss it all. Sweat, sweaty and all. That's hella nasty. <laughs> what? I'm so, somebody no, picked this bitch up. Baby <laughs> that sock you in the devil's chin is crazy. We don't have to fight. It don't smell like no baby's neck. Your neck smells good. I wouldn't want to lay all in it if it didn't. Cause I wouldn't fuck with you if you was a dirty. She bitch. got milk neck. Not her. Not her neck like. Trucks. No, you are far from a dirty one. I couldn't. I've experienced some dirty bitches. And that was your boo. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. That's what you told mm -hmm. me. I told you. <laughs> don't try to claim. <laughs> don't try to claim and then deny. We all done messed with a couple dusties. No, I know. I told her. I done mess with a couple take backs. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm married. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She said she will touch somebody's septum with a dirty finger. If there was a stench down there, she's putting it in your face like. Mm -hmm. And you're going to tell them that she's going to smell it like this. She's going to do like this. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to say. I'm That's her test? Me. That's her test? Yeah, that's for you to know that you stink. Mm -hmm. Talking about, talking about, I'm gonna touch it, then I'm gonna touch your septum. Talking about, you so cute. She could be like Diddy G. He said he likes stinky. Did he mm -hmm. say he likes stinky poo poo? Poom poom. Or did I hear the quote wrong? He like it stinky, so it has no. Like okay, so this might seem very nasty, oh, but it's not nasty because I feel like it's just natural. If you are a clean person, right, and you are at work all day, not, and I'm not talking about hard labor work. I'm talking about you just 
at work and let's say we just talk on the phone often and i want you when you come home drop them goddamn drawers Ugh. no no <laughs> that's disgusting Ugh. china is bipolar y'all okay we don't want to hear about your uh preferences anymore it's nasty oh actually this is lgbtq this is lgbtq uh my so we get it in Yes. Oh, this is LGBTQ. You're going to be cut off come July. <laughs> no more LGBTQ. Look, no more LGBTQ. You want some new water and new ice? Because you are. Struggling. I'm just trying to make sure. That I'm going to get you some new ones. Thank you. You're welcome, love. So I'm nice. It's not you. Now throw it. Throw it. Y'all still holler if you want to. My job is still holler. <laughs> My cousin is a Jorge. <laughs> Damn, I tried to say that in Pig Latin, but... Wait, you say what? I said Jorge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jorge. You better throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. <sighs> A breath of fresh air. What's up with y'all? One like equals one prayer for Mo. I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. Men say I knew what size you were when I told you to sit on my own. Okay. Miss Nets. Miss Net, Miss Nets. Tell us stories about your ex-husband. Cause I know he was a cheetah. Was he at least good in the B E D? Why spell that out? Oh, that's a little bit too much. Now I already like Patsy. Well you gotta take it back and re like. Throw it, throw it, throw it. You hate getting your hair done? No. Honestly, it's better doing it at home, so. Girl, that part. You be keeping your braids in for heck of long, too. I'll be seeing on your story. I'll be like, if she don't take them damn braids down. <laughs> you hate taking them down? Yeah, and I don't, like, I don't really know how long. Because, I mean, what is it, like six to eight weeks? Mm hmm. Okay. But that's. that's like still kind of long to me. Oh, it's more like to penis. Yeah, it, it does feel like a long time. Like this last time, I was like, I need to take these out. What'd you have? Purple. The purple ones. Mm -hmm. It was yeah, an ombre, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. You said I'm gonna do what? No. No. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Nobody was talking to you. Y'all be just a humming to myself. Ooh, I saw Kelly. I thought that was my mom in the live, but it's not. I've been coming through with the intros lately. Okay, you been on your shit, Abby. Hey, Janae, girl. No, what I is don't a know the way that that's happening, and I'm so serious. Welcome, Janae. Please like and subscribe. It's always a vibe all the time. What's she been up to? She must have had her baby because I ain't heard of her. She had a baby? I don't think so. I'm no, gonna, she got I'm back with Blue Place. Blue, blue, I can't even get it out. She got back with Blue Place. Blue Place. Wait, what? Blue Place. Blue Faces? Blue Face. Blue Face. They always breaking up. That's blue face. Blue face. Why yes. is that hard for me to say right now? I don't know. Maybe you're tired. I'm tired. Because what? Blue face. There we go. Y'all, I couldn't get it out. Yeah, you can ask a group question. Please ask for advice because we love to give that. What's some good food places out here? Out there. Um, if you like sushi, Wago sushi or Oyama sushi. If you like Mediterranean food. Mm -hmm. Um... I forget what it's called. Okay. Oh, Nick the Greek is cool for like Eric. If you like Chinese food, Monkey King at Alameda, um, Happy Garden in El Cerrito mm -hmm. is hitting. Uncle Chow, what his name is? Where's that one at? Who's uh? What's the one? Chow, what's the one? What's his name? Uncle Wong. Him. You like soul food? There's luxurious cuisine. That's in Oakland. Soul food, Lux Cuisine. I don't like soul food, but soul Luxurious Cuisine. Or Shea Soul, that's in Fairfield. Oh, I've heard of Shea Soul. That's in Fairfield? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. I'm going to have to uh, take a little trippy trip. But you don't like soul food. I don't, but I wanted to taste it, though. Oh, okay. 
That is so yeah. crazy because we really did not grow up on soul food. We didn't. That's why I'd be like, that's mm-hmm. why I don't like it. That's why I, I mean, I like, like it on is revoked. Yeah, I feel like I like it on Thanksgiving, but I'm more into. But that's not even soul food. Thanksgiving is not soul. That ain't soul food. Mm-hmm. What's soul food? Like collard greens. Could. That's soul. Yeah, but no. like neck bones no. and oxtails. Oh, I like neck bones and, though. Ooh, me too. Oxtails? oxtails? I don't think I ever had oxtails. You don't like oxtails? Mm-hmm. Just like you don't like avocado. Okay, right. Now I understand because my heart hurts right now. Yeah, my heart was hurting real bad when y'all said y'all didn't like When you say you don't like avocado, it's like... Hmm. I get it. I get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oxtails are so good. What's your favorite type of food? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Ooh, see. Mexican? Really good. Yeah, see, we got the best Mexican food out here, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. When it comes to Mexican, yeah, I can't really play jam. Now, Arizona got some good Mexican food, too, though. No. You know who got the best Mexican food, actually? Los Angeles. Los Angeles? Yes. And they're closer to the border, too, so it makes sense. True. They're up there, too. That should be hitting. But our Mexican food down here is pretty good, too, though. I ain't gonna cap. Yeah. And we ain't talking about Taco Bell, y'all. We talking about the good old taco good truck. Right. Mm-hmm. Restaurants, yes. Or, like, so, if you go to Oakland, they got a good fish. You know, it's tacos Pisado. El Tucan by my mom's house. Mm-hmm. That shit hit. It's a, uh, it's where are they from? Argentina, maybe. And I noticed like all the taco places from Jalisco, La Flor de Jalisco, Tacos de Jalisco. When it's Jalisco in there, oh, that shit finna hit. No, that's the area mm. of Mexico they from. But niggas in Jalisco cook. <laughs> Some tacos. Anytime we got Jalisco in the title, it be going down. Okay, let's see. You're not doing no more of these? We have Indian too. Oh, yeah, too. Uh, yeah, these were supposed to be that. I forgot. Should I? No. Not now. They weren't. But no, I feel like it's not going to look bad because it's only like four rows. And it's supposed to be a people with... So food turkey necks. Okay, let me scroll down. I didn't see what you said about your man. Panna, is the lock and twist gel better than the best braid? I don't know what best braid I'm is. Tired. I don't know what best braid is. I'm so sorry, bro. Do y'all have halal oh, guys? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Wow. Life is too short to be unhappy and deal with bullshit. And if you stay, you're it's like you're holding you when you go inside of that place. Yeah. Let me see what you said. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. So my boyfriend blatantly lied, not only through text, yes, but on the yeah. phone in conversation yeah. and to my face. Yeah. Now wants me to try to work it out, yeah. but the lies did it for me. Hmm. What am I gonna wear? I really don't know what I'm gonna wear. But he's like begging me to work it out. I can't find my phone. Hmm. Yeah, no. How long y'all been dating? I got a couple questions. How long y'all been dating? I don't know. The same thing you hit for last time. What? Keep asking some black. I need a money exactly. here because I'm tired of prepping here. Oh, there's some hair right there. Behind me. I'll prep in just one second because I've been really caught up with my own. Oh, it's okay. Can you move that though? Um, let me see. We've been dating for going on four years, four months. Oh, four months? And you already lying and begging? Oh, no. You gotta go. Yeah, those no. lies gotta like, stop. like, what? The begging gotta stop, too. We've if been friends for over four years. No. Shit, then, no. Then don't ask for shit. No. And now, if you said four years, four months, and you're already lying? <laughs> no. I don't got time to play with you. You better dip before you really get hella feelings because that's yeah, sick that's sick no for real or nip that shit like, in what? the bud you're lying in our honeymoon phase is crazy like we ain't even really got the chance we shouldn't even be barely arguing now i'll tell you everybody's story ain't the same because i feel like the last couple of situations that i've been in i've been hitting some bumpy roads in the very beginning because i feel like i'm just weeding out shit that i'm not gonna fucking do with straight up like i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it and then we smooth sailing but that lion shit got to cease. Yeah, what did he lie about? Or move, or what did he lie around? about? Before you catch hella feelings. Because I'm going to have to kill somebody. And that's all. 
G-O-D. Meat braid. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So Lock and Twist is thicker than Meat braid. Um, but they're both really good products. I use both of them. I use Meat braid for stitch braids. I use Lock in for um for knowledge. What did he lie about? Give us the tea. We're not. This is a no judgment zone. Yeah, the hair you are using is that from the Dove collection? Yes, it is, Sharon. Well, not the color one, but the the dark one. Yes. Doesn't matter what he lied about. It's the fact that he lied. No, you right. I four months. I feel like it's too early because you should still be wooing me and trying to get me, and you too busy making up lies. Like what? At your big age? No, because I feel like in the beginning you should really. Can you pass me that black hair? In the beginning, you should really be able to tell me everything. Like, what? We're not even in love yet. That's weird that you're lying. So he told me that he was moving. The address that he gave me is a motel. Not a rentable property. And then he told me that he was completely moved in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So he told me he was moving. The address that he gave me is a model. Sorry. Not a rentable property. And then he told me that he was completely moved in. No, that's a big ass lie. Oh, uh, so you couldn't even go to his house. Right, you homeless. I don't even know where you stay. Like, what? Or you living yeah, with somebody. With somebody. You know uh -huh. Yes, he's married. Now come to find out, he's still in the same spot and not moving at all. Wow. Oh, no, he in another relationship. Yeah, mm -hmm. no. Because he don't want you to come. Run. He don't want you to come to his place of residence. Run. And they gave you the address to the model home like you was a dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you gotta go, sis. That's a big ass lie. Yeah, run. And for what reason? What'd you say? Nah, he said that because he with Miss Betty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you go outside? Correct. Oh. That's a weird ass. No, 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 no. He gotta go. Did you meet? No, you said you been here for four years. Okay, no, no, no. He crazy for that, I'm baby. No, for real. No, like, no. The relationship hasn't even taken off. That's traumatic. No, we got turbulent. No. At least he lied early. Don't waste your time as long as he could have. And then begging no, to what? be with you? What? Stop How did you catch him, sis? I need the tea. I need the tea. I need the tea. How did you catch him? Because what? Like, that's when you hit him with the, do I look like Boo Boo the Fool? The fact that he made up the whole story, though, with an address and everything. No, he's... A habitual. A habitual or a narcissist or both. Yeah, like what? That's crazy. That's crazy. Girl, he think, he think your middle name is Boo Boo and your last name is The Fool. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I hungry again? Because you fat. I can see your comments. I'm trying to get this ass fed so I can throw it. Well, my ex-girlfriend, Lion, she be at, at, Lion, she be at. Thanks, China. At work, but call her on a date <laughs> with my best friend. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's low-key and disrespectful. Low-key? Yeah, I went I looking for your collection to buy some hair. Niche, I use, my, I my collection is all natural hair color. So, the, all the hair but that I, I ever use earlier. is from my collection, unless I it's colored. I told you the collection, you know, that's what she is. If it's like blue, red, green, yellow, purple, I don't have those colors. But if it's any natural color, yes. Not as giving Chris off married at first sight. He was actually cuckoo crazy. But honestly, Paige is crazy too. Okay, let me tell y'all something that I hate. Okay? Because y'all, you don't watch Married at First Sight, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically, there was a girl on Married at First Sight. They paired her with this dude that she was supposed to be married to. And he was having a baby on her and all this. And she was trying to make it work with him because God gave her... A sign oh, or God put her in this thing. Okay. I hate when people see people like Paige and be like, she is so strong. No, she's dumb. She's dumb. The minute that he would have told me on our honeymoon that he had what? another bitch pregnant, oh, I'm done with this process because I'm not going to be dealing with this. Because the fact that you signed up for the show and, and, you, knew that you, and you knew and was still sleeping with somebody else when you knew that you were about to have a wife. You're crazy, and I really hate that. Like, there, it's okay to call women stupid and foolish because that's what she was. I'm just going to... Then, he told her that he bought the girl a car, a Mercedes Benz, at that. Talking about, I don't feel safe with my, my future kid just driving around in anything, basically, is what he said. You don't need a bit. Okay. 
a Mercedes Benz. And those are expensive to Sweethearts. maintain. There's and everybody want to, Paige is so strong. No, she's no. stupid. They stupid. I, like, because what? You're not going to play me, especially on national TV, because I sure would have did my first and last scene with him that day, baby. I don't know who you think I am, but I'm not boo-boo, nor am I the fool. You want to buy her a Mercedes Benz? Go sleep in it with her, because you're not going to be sleeping in this here apartment. The process is over. You're done. Stick a fork in it, bitch. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> You're done. You're done. Like, your what? You're done. And she kept coming back. And so, I, I actually follow Chris because he's kind of funny to me. I ain't going to lie. He's kind of funny to me. I follow him on social media. And he said that basically, in order to get paid for the show, you have to film with each other past the recommitment date, right? Otherwise, I don't know if you don't get paid or you don't get a portion of your payment. So, she was like... Paige and him basically had made an agreement to keep filming past that day. So that's why, you know, he kept coming back to film scenes with her. But then oh, it, it like you could tell he didn't really want to be with her or whatever. So he was basically saying like, you know, they had a little agreement that they were going to film together until recommitment day, mm -hmm. which low key kind of makes sense. Because it's like, why do you keep coming back right. doing these scenes with her? But then if y'all notice, like when he would sit down in the scenes, he wasn't really saying nothing. Like, he would just be hella quiet, and she'd be like, all right, so what are we going to do? And he'd kind of just be like. And then she texted him while she drunk at nighttime trying to get some. But then you want to come on camera, oh, what was me? Like, God has something for me. Girl, boo. Girl, boo. I don't believe that. I kind of believe him because I feel like he don't really give me liar vibes. He do kind of, but, like, not really, though. What y'all think? Then called her ugly. Oh my god, he did. He did call her ugly. <laughs> no, I think called her ugly. Wow. Yes, he called her ugly. Do you want ugly. me to go get Junior? Or no? No, it's okay. Okay. Called her ugly. Yeah, he. He. Yeah. He was just. That's not right. Mm-mm. Why you feel like I want to go do that? Just so you didn't have to go that way and then drive 50 minutes home. Okay, that's fine. Don't fuck up my car. I'm not going to fuck up your car. I don't have money for that. Yeah, please. Because I don't either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's the plan for tomorrow? You just going to come with me to my eyelash appointment? Yeah, and then I thought, yeah. Mm -hmm. What was we going to do? Get a massage okay. while you're doing that? That's cool. Hoo, 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 hoo. Mm -hmm. I'm still burning. You gonna eat these last two? Yeah. I would just might. You might have to put those to the side, homeboy. And said she was not a trophy wife. And Panna is the difference between lock and twist and lock in. Panna is there a difference between lock and twist and lock in. Yeah. One is called lock and twist and one is called lock in. It's made by two different people. Lock in is like in a black and red container and lock and twist is in a green container. I'm it's by Pira. Huh? So I'm going to put him in my backpack. Don't bring him in here. Can he sit in the car? Because yes, I really, can. yeah, I don't. Mo. You going about the front? Yes. Okay. Sorry, y'all. They've been tripping on me at the salon. I really don't like. I really don't know like what I do to people, but any salon I go into, they just be like on my ass, and I don't know why. Like I really don't do anything. I really, like, I honestly really am hella unproblematic. Like, I really don't. So, I just be like, why do people always, like, watch everything that I do? It's just so fucking weird. I don't know what the fuck I be doing, y'all. But then, like, the salon manager here was like, you're really busy, aren't you? And I'm like, yes, like, what? Isn't that so weird? 
Like I came here one day and she was like, you're just really busy, aren't you? I'm like, yes, I am really busy. Like, bitch, I'm booked. Our bitch is not in here not booked. But it was hella weird. I was like, yes. She was like, you just, you're always here. You just are so busy. Like, yeah. But it's hella weird because, like, I'm not here when you're here. So how the fuck do you know I'm so busy? Like, are you watching the camera when I come and leave? That's hella weird to me. It is. Because I work Sundays and Mondays, and she's not here on Sundays and Mondays. So what? And yes, I am hella busy. Like, <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. And then today she like, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like people just be, I don't know what I do to people. <laughs> but anyway, okay, back to y'all. What, you're not supposed to make money? No, I'm hella serious. Like, I'm hella serious. I feel like I'm actually like a person who tries to like fly under the radar and like not break rules. And I feel like they be like, I don't know. Like, yeah. And it's like, like one time she came to me and was like, so I was here late with like some of my clients and like, yes, like my clients are black. That's my clientele, you know, but to be honest with you, like my prices are expensive. So my clients are not hella ghetto because like, like hella ghetto ass ratchet people is not going to pay $300 for braids, you know? So, um, my clientele is not even giving that like at all, you know, like they come in with their hair out. Yeah. Cause they're about to get their hair done and then they leave slayed, you know? Right. But one that time I came in and she was like, um, yeah, I just want to let you know, like I said, I like let everybody know about this, but, um, she was like the other night I had stocked the bathroom with like toilet tissue and everything. And I came in this morning and like the toilet tissue was gone and like somebody took the air freshener. Right. And I'm like thinking in my head, like, okay, what the fuck does it have to do with me? Like, yeah. bitch, you have cameras. I was like, okay, why don't you watch the cameras? And she was like, I was watching the cameras, but it just wasn't conclusive. Okay. okay. It just was given like, like, like she was like, I just know you were here late. So like, bitch, who the fuck is going to walk out with hella toilet tissue and what? I mean, not that like people wouldn't do it, but it's just like, I don't know. That was kind of weird to me. I was like, and it's given like, did you really pull everybody aside? Because when you have like an announcement to make, you do it in front of you everybody. do it like in a text message. Like I just felt like that was kind of weird. Like if you think my client took the toilet tissue, like what? Mm -hmm. And it most certainly was not me because I'm here every day. And one thing I can't afford is toilet tissue, <laughs> one thousand percent. And I don't use air fresh. I like to smell my own boo boo. So. <laughs> <laughs> No, for real. I like the smell. So, I don't know. It was just hella weird. And then, like, I noticed, like, that they're just kind of passive aggressive. Like, maybe they think I'm going to be, like, rude or something if they tell me something, you know? And so, one time she had told me about my son being here. And I'm like, if there's a, like, if I'm doing anything that is, like, not against the rules or something, like, you can just tell me. Like, I'm not that type of, I was like, I'm not that type of person. Like, mm -hmm. if I'm doing anything, it's not intentional. Like, I would never be, like, the rule is to not do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Fuck it. Like, I'm not that type of person. You know, she's like, oh, no, no. Like, but it's like, okay, bitch. Like, then why do you have stuff to say? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, like, she's hella passive aggressive. Like, she'll be like, Oh, like, instead of just being like, hey, like, um, we don't allow kids in the salon, she'll be like, your son is so cute. I would never tell you that he can't be here, even though he's not supposed to be. Like, what? What? She yes. Said that for real? Yes. She was like, oh, no. I would never. She was like, I just would never say anything, though, because he's so cute. So what, what the fuck does and that he mean? he doesn't make any noise. Like, what? I'm like, he's not supposed to be here. Like, why don't you just tell me? <laughs> okay. Mm hmm and, I mean, why not? He's in your, he's in your area. I mean, I kind of get it, though, because it's like, kids just make noise, and, like, this is not a daycare. And so I get it, but it's like, just say that. Like, mm -mm. like that's fucking weird. It's just like, just tell me. But I don't know if she thinks I'm going to be like, what? You know how people be getting turned up or something? I don't know, but I'm like, I'm not that type of person. 
thought of not. I just be trying to fly under the, the radar. And then my cousin, she like goes in and out the back door because first of all, we come together and mm -hmm. she's my assistant. So like she comes in the back door or like the trash is back there. So when she goes to throw away trash or like if I need her to get something out my car, mm -hmm. she goes back there. And then she, today she was like, your clients can't come through in through the back door even if they know your code. But it's like, she's not a client. That's my assistant. We're literally wearing the same shirt. It's like, yeah, it's just for safety reasons. She's my assistant. Like, what? Did That's kind of weird to me. Did she not understand that after you explained it? I don't know. Maybe she thinks, like, I don't know. That's why I'm like, mm. So I just be trying to fly under the radar. <laughs> See, y'all, I really don't be trying to be problematic. But I just might need my, uh. No, my son can't be here. My son can't be here. I guess it's like, in, it probably is in the contract, to be honest. I don't be reading shit thoroughly, so it probably is. But, um, I mean, I'm not really worried about that. That's why I always make sure he has, like, he's watched, you know? But she's really sweet, but it's just, like, some things I'm like, okay. Yeah, so I'll be trying to make sure these motherfuckers follow the rules, because... Yeah, but I can't go back to doing hair at my house, y'all. Mm. I can't, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm my bad. Just be hurting. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm just a hurting. I'm messing up. Y'all, I don't be loud during the day either. I be, I be trying to be quiet. Keep it under wraps. Keeping under wraps, wraps, wraps. Other times, I've been nice. looking for your collection to buy some hair. Thank you, girl. That's like the fifth time you said it. It's not hard to find. Dumbasspanda.com. He's low-key being disrespectful. What are you talking about? You're stupid, son. You can or you can't go back to... No, I said I can't. I can't. I can't. I feel like my house is like my sanctuary. Like I just don't know when people all through my house know where I live and shit. Maybe like my close, you know, my close friends and stuff, or my close clients I do in my house, but it just don't be feeling right. I like to be in the salon. Yeah. <clears throat> but back to Mary the first sight, y'all be I can't believe y'all be watching that. Penna, do you prefer the lock and twist or the regular locking? Probably. I mean, I use a lock and twist. I use lock in too, but it's just whatever one I could find at the time. But I use lock and twist more. I I did like lock in, but one time my package came hella late and I really needed it and that irritated me. So I just be getting lock and twist because I can get it from my vendor, dude, and I can get it like when I need it. One thing I don't like, y'all, is slow shipping. That's why for my company, I try to make sure I ship shit out immediately. I don't like to wait. I damn near be trying to be like Amazon. If I order it, I want it shipped out the next day. So lock-in for me is hard to get. And like, because um, you know, if you buy it online, it's cheaper. At the beauty supply, that shit is like $30. I'm not paying that. Damn. That's hella expensive. Yeah, I'm not paying that, so. <clears throat> but I do, I like, I do like the product. So if y'all looking for a good braid gel, it is good. But I just, no, I can't wait for the shipping. What about that Indian man and lady? Who was that? Indian. Who are you talking about? I do my own hair at age 13, so I'm not tender. I think, okay, period. Eric was crazy. You thought Eric was crazy? I thought his wife was crazy. Eric was the pilot, right? I don't think he was crazy. Let me turn on. My YouTube chat is either moving slow or y'all went over to TikTok. Okay, there we go. Yeah, when bro caught her ugly on the honeymoon and she stayed sick in the head. No, for real. I get very sarcastic when Derek was dealing with Karen's. Y'all, I'm like not, uh, um, I'm not really a confrontational, uh, I'm not a confrontational person for real. Like, 
I'm more of a like, let's say like you you come to me and like let's just say you're like Brie, your room is your salon room is dirty. You need to clean it up. Even if I know I'll be cleaning it up, I'll just be like, okay, yeah, it's not, I can work on that. Like I don't really be, you know, I'm just like for what? Unless you're trying to like accuse me of something that I know I didn't do, I'll be like, no. Like it, with the toilet tissue stuff, I was like, you know, yeah. I'm doubt that any of my clients would do that because like they have a lot of respect for me, but I'll definitely like you know just keep my eye out or something. Because I do be here late, but it's like, I don't know. That's just hella ghetto. Like, who would do that? You know, I would hope that my clients wouldn't do that, but I'm like, you have cameras. Why don't you just watch the cameras? Like, what? But I don't know. I guess in my head, I'm like, did you really ask everybody or are you asking me? Because I'm black and I'll be here late. I feel like that. No, for real. I'll be like, mm. but I'll be trying to give people the benefit of the doubt because she is really nice. Like, she's honestly the reason why I signed up. Because when I came here, I was like, oh wow, she's like super wel- welcoming, super nice. I even told her. I'm like, you are just really like super wel- welcoming with your signs. And I'm just like, mm. Um, I know, right? I only paid it because I really wanted to try it. Y'all talking about the gel? Or what? I love trying new products. I'm not going to cap. But some of these products, the prices is just getting out of hand. It just really is. You got any trips planned? No. You travel a lot? I try to, but I've been broke, so. Girl. Same. I want to go on a cruise. Yeah, my friends just told me about a cruise next year. It's in the Caribbean for five days. Oh, like a regular carnival or is it like an event? I think it's carnival. Oh, okay. It's going to be witty. I don't know if I'm going to go, though, because um, it's in May and I'll be in school. Mm. You don't mind though, right? It's just right now, like uh, it might be in person. Yeah. Mm. I was about to say, great, but take that uh, laptop on the boat. <laughs> I could do that. Yeah. But it's like if I have finals, cause it's like during the midterm week, so I might like I I'll either be hella busy or it'll be okay, but I don't know yet. Who is Jake? I forget who that is. $32 for the lock-in? No. No, 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 no. Y'all know y'all can get it online. If you buy, like, three or four, I don't know if they change it, but you can get it for, like, $16. There's just no way I could pay $32. That's a lot of money. That's so crazy. But, I mean, if you're someone who doesn't do hair regularly and, like, you're using it on yourself or something like that or a couple clients, maybe, but as many clients as I got, I can't do that. The man off married at first sight, he was with Haley. Oh, wait, Haley and Jake. Well, I remember them, but what? Hold on, wait. I remember them, but what was it? What was it? Because I remember them. Haley. Can we take a break real quick? Yeah. So I just need to go pee. Yeah. You been holding it, girl? No, I just started feeling like that. Oh, I was like, ready? I gotta hold it. Keep asking my hair right there, though. I'm just being lazy. I don't have to get it. Thanks. Don't sit on toilet tissue or nothing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Haley got on my neck. Oh, 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 oh. That's the one. Okay, okay, okay. I know who you're talking about. That's the one who was, like, addicted to the 80s, right? Yeah. People do not like him. That Titanic submersive. That's so crazy, right? And then he bought his baby mama a brand new luxury car like I mean she gives me viral warrants and when the baby gets here but yes I just talked about that I want to travel outside the country so bad okay first of all before we talk about anything let's talk about that submersive that shit is crazy right 
That shit is so crazy. My first question is, if y'all had the money, I'm not talking about our broke asses right now. If we was billionaires, would y'all get on it though? Would you do it? Because it's like, at that point, like, what do we really have to spend our money on? Like, I might just want to go deep sea diving. What y'all think? That thing looked like a beauty tank. <laughs> y'all saying no because y'all know what happened. But if y'all didn't know what happened, come on. Be for real. Y'all, that's because we all blickety black. Now, if you was a 613, I can't find anything to spend money on. <laughs> yeah y'all I can't like oh, hell no because I'm not interested in none of that no for real uh y'all believe it imploded like they said or what because I was watching a bunch of different um I was watching a bunch of different like interviews yesterday I'm the type of person like once I read one article I'm like oh my god I search all the YouTube videos on it I search all the Google, Google articles and a couple people said that it could have like blown up but oh my god oh my god <laughs> 6 13 7 42 8 thousand hell no I won't go I'm so weak the movie was just enough for me for real for real no on oh god that soda can I'm weak they could have looked at the Titanic from a drone tour or something no for real I try to escape before going to see the Titanic my thing is just like I just want to know at what point did they know they fucked up like were they under there for an hour and then maybe it just went black and they was like oh shit guys this is not good or at that two hour mark was it just like Poof. like at what point did you know you fucked up how about when you sat in there and they bolted the door from the outside that's when I would have knew. Because, baby, what? They said it didn't implode unless it was open. So what was the debris that they found? That debris could have just been from the Titanic, baby. Like, what? Y'all just didn't want to expend no more resources in finding these motherfuckers. I tried to go to space before going to see the Titanic. I'm not doing either. Like, I'm just fine with being right here. I have clients tomorrow. Remote controller would have been it for me. <laughs> Not they press A B B triangle square and you out. I was a button smasher, so I don't even know what the buttons are. But ain't it like a triangle square circle or something? Triangle triangle circle and we out. I would definitely book a flight to heaven first. I'm so weak. I wouldn't have even got in there. They'd have to be in there packed like sardines to get leg room. No, they were sitting crisscross applesauce. That's actually sick. Mm -mm. They had a previous employee say it wasn't safe a few years ago. They fired him trying to expose them. Mm -mm. It imploded the Navy knew days ago. You think so? They should have known they effed up the moment they got the idea to pull such a stunt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now my knees already be cracking y'all are too much they was in each other's laps oh my god you heard about that right the people that want to see them. oh my god yeah and they're stuck in there oh baby they're gone oh, oh yeah well we don't know what they are they now they will be what if it's a conspiracy theory and we think it's stuck down there, but really it never went and they really just, because they're billionaires, they really just wanted to, what, fake their death? <laughs> Skipping Tupac. <laughs> I'm just like, why would you do that? Because they're rich and bored and they don't and have then, shit else better to do. I think my client before you told me that uh, the, the guy who went with his son, the son didn't even want to go, but he went because it was a Father's Day gift. Wow. Or something. I would be pissed as fuck. The moment they bolted that door shut, I would have looked at my daddy and said, I don't know what I would have said. I wouldn't have got on that shit. I'm not doing that. Going down into the ocean in this rickety ass little fucking box? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. And you know, 
from what I heard, there's not even a fucking window on the submarine. They had to look at the ship through a monitor anyway. So why the fuck do you need to be thousands of feet? That's what somebody, maybe my client before you told me that too, but I thought that there was like a small window where they could peek out of. But everybody was like, it's dark under there. I was like, going to say, there's no light. So even if you could look out, you can't. So it's just stupid. $250,000 per person. That's a waste of money. Mm -mm -mm. It was a window in the bathroom. <laughs> The bathroom with a privacy curtain. Baby, I fart every time I sit on that toilet seat. They would have been pissed off me. <laughs> Get this bitch off the boat. <laughs> off the submersible? Like, what even is that? Some bullshit. Mm -mm. So the fucked up thing, I was reading this, uh, reading. I was watching this guy. He, he was on an interview because he had did it before. And they were basically asking him, like, what safety briefings do they give you or whatever. And he was basically saying, like, there's, like, seven safety mechanisms to, like, get you back up to uh, back up to the surface. Like, it releases sandbags. There's, like, different ways or whatever that basically mm -hmm. different safety mechanisms to get you back. But he was saying because it's bolted from the outside, like, even if one of the safety mechanisms worked, and they were like floating on the surface, they still would just run out of air. They would just basically die from suffocation. Oh, hell no. So Because either, you can't get out. So you're dying either way. Whether you're at the bottom. Yeah, of the and then ocean. he was saying like there's 96 like uh, hours worth of air on there, but like that's what the company says. That doesn't mean that that's really what it is, you know? Right. They. <sighs> I don't, I don't know. That's just not some shit. That My I'm question is, so when they were in there, they had the tanks on them already, the breathing tanks? They had to. Or is it like once the pressure gets a certain, like, you know how an airplane is? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like once they get into it, they the got time will start. Yeah. Mm. I can't believe people waste money for stuff like that. <laughs> no, for real. They're just as dumb as the people who walked on that damn volcano. That active volcano. Did you watch the documentary? No. Bucardi? what it's called volcano they oh my god people are just dumb as fuck y'all did y'all see that documentary about the volcano not wait how they take a shower they don't live there girl it's supposed to be like i think the whole thing is supposed to be like 10 hours right i don't know the submersible thing mm-hmm I didn't, I didn't see I think it takes like two hours to get down there and they look at the Titanic for like four to five hours and then they come back. It's like a 10 hour thing. They don't sleep there. Yeah, so then I, I would think as soon as they get in, that's when the 96 hours would start. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. That's just... Mm -mm. People are not going to... People are going to learn not to play with fire. It was an eight hour trip. Okay, eight hours. Not they could have just watched Moana. I'm so weak. It ain't no way they thought they was coming back from that. What? But, okay, so the dude who I did it before, he was saying, like, he was hella nervous up until the day that he, like, went because he couldn't sleep and shit. But he was like, the dude told me that, like, they've had 25 trips, 25 successful trips down there um, within the past three years. And that every time they go, they lose, like, signal. That's normal just because, like, you know, mm -hmm. obviously the pressure from the water and all types of stuff. So he was like, that's customary. So when he heard that they lost the signal, yeah. he was like, oh, like, that's normal. Like, it's no big deal. But they never got it back, though. That, that kind of... Mm. I'm like, that's crazy. Mm -mm. It's not a big deal, but it kind of is. Like, I don't know. I would just want to, I would just, I could just be a fly on the wall, a fish on the wall, a fish on the fin. Them people are fucking miserable. You think they still alive? I don't know. Then they talking about they hear banging down there like, what? Mm -mm. At 37 feet, they would have, tech, they would, hold on, wait. At 37 feet, they were having technical difficulties already. Well, 
If they were having technical difficulties at 35 feet, why didn't they come why did back? They go, yeah. Their family's rich, but they can't sue even if they wanted to. No, they signed hella waivers. Mm -hmm. I, the thing I read about it said on the first page, there's like three three ways they said you could die. So I'm like, that's not enough <laughs> to be like, you know what? Nah. Maybe, because like sometimes I'll be thinking in my head, like maybe because the CEO of the company or like the the founder of the company, whatever he was, Maybe because he was on there with them, they figured, like, what could go wrong? Because, like, why would somebody get in there on a suicide mission, you know? You don't know what be going through people's head. Like, I get that. That's true, but you could say the same thing every time you get on the airplane. True. Actually, but airplanes are regulated for safety and checked and all of that. And this is a much smaller, like, operation. So, there's definitely not as much, like, overhead. I don't know. I just... I can't trust it. I don't give a fuck who gets on that bitch with me. Even if the person who made it. What if they were going to pay you one million to take the trip and take, they just want you to snap a couple photos of the Titanic. Mm -hmm. You can't even, but you can't take the photos though. It's dark. But you have, they gave you a photo, they gave you a, a photo light that can push, penetrate through deep wavelengths so you will be able to. Okay, then put the It's a new creation, and they're going to give you $1.5 to go down there. They just want you to snap one photo and come right on back. Okay, then they can put the camera in the submersible and send that shit down there, and I will operate it remotely. You can't operate it remotely because it has to be... It needs a human fingerprint in order to activate the camera. Why would they build this fucking ridiculous camera? Because if you can re control it from a remote, the waves that come from the remote into the device, the camera device... Mm -hmm. It will wipe out a lot of fish, mm. and because it's too strong and powerful, so it has to be only be done by fingerprint, only your fingerprint at that. One point five million. Because they chose you and no nobody else. So are you going for one point five million or not? That's a lot of money. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bitch, you gonna be right there swimming, with, <laughs> swimming with Rose and Dawson. Was, wait, was that her last name? Rose and Jack. Oh my god. You're finna be, never let go. <laughs> Your finger finna be glued to that camera. Never let go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Baby. <laughs> but it's not a lot if you can't spend it. Shit. <laughs> you better have a kid before you go. Because <laughs> your ass is crass. <laughs> Just gonna leave your baby out in the world like that. Would y'all do it or what? Not all money is a good money. That's true. That's crazy. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm just not that excited to see nothing under sea. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a wreck. What if they got ate by Megalodon? It's just anything can happen. We only know 5% of the ocean. Yeah, there's hella shit down like, there. Like what? You don't know what's under there. Them niggas probably discovered a whole new species. Can't even tell nobody. Right, talking about it. you heard banging. They're in a shark's belly. That's what you heard. <laughs> it's only, what is it? It's only eight feet tall and what? 20 feet long? How long is it? I tried to go to space before going to see the Titanic. Rich 613s are just weird and crazy anyway. It's a hell no for me. Mm. She's coming back, y'all. I'm not getting in a sub the size of a Red Bull can. No, for real. Dead ass. That shit was crazy. That shit was hella small. I know it's only eight feet tall because I read that, but I can't remember how long they said it was. Not Ursula got the ass. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but you a piece of that. No, it's okay. <laughs> By the time Monique comes back, y'all, I'm trying to be done. Why you not right at all? Monique, that was you who said that. <laughs> now they would have been better off finding Nemo. I'm <laughs> so done. Oh, y'all be in the comments on Shave Room. Because y'all funny. I just feel so... Like, part of me feels bad for them, but then another part of me is like, what do you expect? But then also there's like that element of like, you know when you do stuff and you never think it will happen to you? Because I'll be watching, like, um, roller coaster videos on YouTube. 
and people will be getting decapitated, and I'm like, you're hella dumb, but it's like, why would you not get on a roller coaster, you know? I don't know, though. I feel but like, that is very different than yeah, going two miles under the ocean. Like, mm-mm. There's a reason human beings can't fucking swim to the bottom of the ocean. Like, we don't belong there. Mm-mm. Wasn't there a similar company who was, like, taking people to space on their own? I thought Elon Musk was doing that. Oh, was he? I thought so. But, like, you could pay to go to outer space? Yeah, like a get on a rocket or some shit. Yeah. yeah I thought that was him, but I don't, I'm not too sure. I think the Titanic is haunted and they got them. I feel bad for them. I really do, too. I really feel hella bad. I wish I could bring them back and be like, right, thank you. Now your stupid ass need to stay right here. <laughs> why would you do that? Mm-mm. I just feel hella bad. I just want to know at what point they knew they fucked up. That's what I just want to know. What complications, what, what complications were they having at 37 feet? That's what I want to know. Enough that it should have made them niggas turn around. They should have had a stream connected to the top of the, connected to the boat, connected to the submersive, so that, like, a chain, you know? So that if it got stuck or they lost service, they could start pulling it up, you know? Mm -hmm. Why couldn't they do that? They definitely needed better safety measures than what they had. Like, I don't know. Mm -mm. Because why would you bolt it so that even, like, I don't know. So even if they do float up, they're dead. Like, Tamisha. Yeah, Tyree, like a chain. Like, that stays connected to it. Why is that so dumb? I feel like that's hella smart. Like, it don't take a genius to think of that. It don't take a genius to think of that. <laughs> Not that super smart. <laughs> Yeah, but if it imploded, ain't no way they can pull them up. They gone. But that's what I'm saying. Like, at least we can pull them up and get diagnostics from the stream, from the the chain. We can see burn marks or something. There's probably not a chain long enough, Buki. Buki. You know how to connect the chain? They can do it. They There's something. Not who hack What panda you are, genius. <laughs> There really aren't any safety measures that could have saved them. The pressure pulling them up would. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because y'all remember uh, 47 meters down? They had to pull them up hella slow. You remember that? Oh, yeah. But that's because they were out of the thing. Like, they would have got oh, yeah, something right. with their heads. I forget. It's uh, de- decompression or something? So, what does implode mean? Like, blew up, right? Mm-hmm. Why didn't they say explode? I think implode is from the inside out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. So, mm-hmm. like, the pressure build up inside of your body, which, that would be fucking horrific. Did they watch The Simpsons? I'm weak. That's why they said we don't have any equipment to get them, even if found. That's crazy. Hell no. That's a stupid-ass way to die. Dumb ways to die. <laughs> Just like what? It's very unfortunate though. Y'all think they're gonna play that Titanic music at their funeral? That would be that song is a banger. <laughs> <laughs> it's only right, like Yes, 1,000 Ways to Die. There'd be some dumb ass shit on there. I haven't seen that show in so long. 1,000 Ways to Die? Yes. Where's the idiot that bolted it shut? Now, why he gotta be an idiot, Ramondo? He's just doing his job. I think it's just something to get people's minds off that mom before that got shot through that door. You think so? Oh, my God. Wait, but they got the lady. Didn't they charge her? Or what? She didn't got off, and I missed it. I haven't, y'all, I really honestly haven't been on the internet. I a lot they, in the past four days, so I don't know no updates today. I just honestly heard about the submersive maybe yesterday. 
I could have sworn I heard that they charged her, but I, I'm, I'm seeing like completely. I know they had got her because they finally released her. Was it her mugshot or was it just a picture of her? Okay, so then that's it. I think they got her, but she hasn't been charged or something, which doesn't really make sense. Only the submarine has been found. He knew they weren't coming back. They caught her, but they're sweeping it under the rug. Really? But they're saying that, you know, like, it was premeditated. Like, she had been calling the lady, like, you know, slurs and all this other stuff, and... They're talking about the lady who shot the black lady through the door. She shot her through the door, right? Am I tripping? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Through the peephole or something? I, I don't even think... That shit is so crazy to me. It's so crazy. Where was it? Was that in Florida? I don't know. Cause her her son left the iPad. Her daughter or somebody left the iPad, right? The I, I have y'all. I haven't seen that story since it first got aired. I have not been on the internet. I need to really catch up on my shit. I think she, the white lady, took the black. The child's. police were on her side. The black lady took the the white lady took the black child's ipad away and mm -hmm. so the mom went over to talk to her about it because you know it's not it's not your it's not your property yeah so you can't confiscate something from my kid and yeah she shot her through the door and she was mad right because they were playing in her yard or something is that <sighs> what was going on i don't know about that part uh, she was released and in protective custody what the boy that the white man shot for Coming to the wrong house, waking, walking now, but he has a brain injury. What? Wow. Wait, what happened with that? The boy that the white man shot for coming to the wrong house. What was he doing? I think he was trying to pick up his sibling or something like that. And he just knocked on the door. I think yeah, he wasn't doing anything wrong. He just went to the wrong what? house. She is getting peekaboo birds. Her child left in a rush, but it wasn't her yard. It was a park close by her house. What? Oh, okay. So, see, the way I read it or whatever I read, I thought, like, that the black lady and her kids was playing in, like, an open field, but it was the lady's, like, yard. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how in the South they be having land? Mm -hmm. So, that's what I thought. And then I thought that. I guess the lady was like, get off my property. This is what I thought I read. I don't know. I was skimming. Um, and the lady, like, left with her kids, but he left his iPad or something. And so she went back to get it. That's what I thought I read. But thanks for clearing that up. It was at a park. Yeah, because I didn't know the full details. All I knew was that she took the iPad from him, like, and wasn't obviously supposed to do that. And mm -hmm. so the mom had went over to talk about it with her. And she shot her. Did she die instantly? I don't know. This world be really pissing me off sometimes. And his grandkids right? came out and said he's racist because they were trying to make it seem like he was old and afraid. What? Good job to the grandkids. Right. Protect his old ass. Mo's will be here soon, yeah. No, the field is next to the apartment, and all of the neighbors says she thinks the land belongs to her. She was throwing things at the kids and calling them derogatory names. What? Yeah, they said she had been spouting like racial slurs to the mom for months, like before that had even happened. So it's like she definitely planned this shit out. Yeah, I was, yeah, 1000%. You're antagonizing somebody. Because you know you're going to provoke them. Eventually, I mean, people can only take so much. You no, know? for real. And then it's like, the fucked up thing is, I feel like, because I've been thinking in my head, you know how sometimes you'd be thinking about, like, what could have been done or what could have been prevented. But it's like, even me, as a new mom, like, what, not mom, you throwing shit at my kid and you... And you took his stuff, like... And you calling my kid out his name, like, what mom is not finna press you? Like, yeah, you're getting pressed. She's looked like, honestly, I don't even know. Because it's like, in that case, it's really grounds for you to get your ass beat. Like, truthfully. No, for real. That's so crazy. 
She's like, that'd be making me so mad. That's why I wish I had a remote controller and I could rewind time. So I could be like, yes, sis. Now you see what could happen. So go do your big one. That's fucked up. No, that really is. And then somebody just said that her nine-year-old was beside her. Like, what? Wow. Mm. Mm. That shit got me sick. Mm -mm. Why is she released is the question. I think because they're saying it's like staying your ground. Okay, it's staying your ground, you're released. Why does she need protective custody? You keep standing that ground, bitch. Like <laughs> Because now they know this fucking, you know, people are going to want to come after her as rightfully so. Oh, but, well. Oh, well. So right. You wanted to stand your ground before? Stand it. Protect it. That protective custody crap is hella crazy. Like, why are we protecting somebody who's Kill innocent? Somebody. No, no, she's innocent. She was just standing her ground, so let her be. <laughs> like, what? That's hella crazy. So just because she was on her prop her property when she came to get the iPad back. Mm -hmm. That's, the you know, saying your ground works yeah. like that. Because mm -hmm. you have the right, yeah, to protect yourself and your property. But it's like, she couldn't even get inside your house. Your door is closed and locked. So what are you protecting? You're inside. Mm -hmm. It's not like she was vandalizing the outside of your property. Or, and even then, that's worth a bullet. That's worth your life. Yeah, that's crazy. What part right here is pissing me off? Yeah. That really makes me really sad. But the police stay, stay your ground can't be used because she was behind a locked and closed door. She shouldn't have went to her house. Stuff like that had me stressed, but it shouldn't. If she stole her property first, though. I try to go to space before, oh. Why is that comment still there? Can as upcoming stylist, do you think quality videos is... No, I really do feel like you could barely go a day without something crazy happening. That is hella true. It's like every day is just like... In this world, yes. You think you've seen it all, and then it's like, what? Like, the shit I be hearing? Like, when I even heard about this Titanic shit, like, what? That shit was just yeah. wild. Like, you just be like... Huh? Hmm? I was so confused. I'm like a submarine? No, a submersive. What is a submersive? And why would you... Honestly, I thought they were talking about the Titanic at first. As an upcoming um, stylist, do you think quality videos is more important than quantity? But how do you post consistently when you don't have booming clientele? So, I think quality anything is is um, is better than quantity. But I will also say, like, you have to be actively working to get that content. Like, you can't just be like, oh, I'm not going to post this because this one little part. Like, you got to find ways to make it work. But remember, like, with one client, you can record multiple, multiple, multiple videos. And I used to be really bad at this. Like, let's say I have a client and um, I just finished her hair and, like, I know she might be ready to go. I'll be like, okay, I'm just not going to take a video. Like, I'll get one next time. Like, you really have to make sure you're disciplined and getting your pictures, your videos, your content. Um, you know, as long as your client is with it, you got to get what you got to get. But there's like so much content you can make. You can do a before. Okay, this is all one client, right? Let's say this was my client. I can do a before and after transformation, right? None of the process, just the before and then get a video of after. You can do a time lapse video of you doing one braid. You can do a video of you putting mousse on her head and smoothing it out. You can do just the finished look in different angles. You can put it in different hairstyles. You can do like a funny like TikTok with your client, you know, like kind of like the shit I be doing with her weeks, like when you on that last braid, but it's really not the last braid, you know, that's like five, six videos with just one client. But the key to doing it is like you have to plan it out before you go. So like 
for me, what I used to do is like when I get the client there, I'll be like, all right, I'm just going to record. Like I would try to think of it in the moment and then I'm not productive or I forget, um, you know, so you got to write down what your ideas are before the client gets there. And that helps it go smoother, quicker. You can record you prepping for the client. There's like so much stuff you could do. You just got to get creative with your content. And then sometimes you could recycle the same content. So let's say you got three clients for the week. You filmed all those videos for your three clients. And then you could do a video, you know, let's just say like day in the week as a new braider. And you could show each day that you did with your clients. You could show a little bit of you prepping, a little bit of you cleaning up. Like, you know, boom, there goes another video. And you're showing all your three clients. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Then show your clients again how much I made in a week. You show your client $20, second client $40, third client $30, I made $60 this week. <laughs> so yeah. Hold on, Donald. Donald, let me look into that for you. You went to the page already or what? I made $60 this week. Y'all probably didn't do the math right. I just said a number, but I made $60. But yeah, you can get multiple things from like one client. But you just got to, like I said, be intentional about your content and post. The fact that kids are going to be reading about this in the future, no, for real, y'all. Half our lives is going to be in these history books, if they even have history books. Because, baby. Luckily, that little girl got away. Okay, what are we talking about? Because I just was um, answering a question for people. So I don't know even know what topic we on, for real. <laughs> Let's bring it back. What else crazy has been happening? The Titanic thing is the most recent, right? Yeah, I think so. Wasn't there like an airplane that was missing that people were saying they shot out the sky or something? I didn't hear about that. There was like, am I not tripping? I'm lucky scared to ask my clients, can I film? So I just get content when I do my friends here. Girl, okay. So this is the thing. You got to get out of doing that. You got to get out of being scared to ask people, Okay. If you're scared to ask them, then ask them in a text message. Maybe you're scared to ask in person. Ask them in a text message. Do you mind if I take a before and after video? Like, girl, this is 2023. People know when they come to their hair appointment, if they shit is hitting, that you taking a picture. The worst thing that they could do is say no, and you just say, okay. But most people are not going to say no. But it's like every time, especially if you don't have clients, every time you do a client's hair and you don't take a picture, you're cheating yourself and you're cheating your business. Because honestly, like you got to think of it like this. When people scroll on Instagram, nobody's looking for you. Like they're scrolling down their timeline or they're tapping through their stories. Nobody's like, oh, let me go see. I mean, maybe like, you know, maybe a, an established braider, like they may be like, oh, let me go see like dope ass Panda's page so I can see what she posted. But when I'm new, did you really think people were like, oh, let me go to this random girl dope ass Candace page to see if she posted something? No, nobody's checking for you. So you have to put yourself in people's faces. Like, and the way you do that is by posting. Now, when they scroll down, boom, they see you. Okay, you're open. If I don't see you on the timeline, you're closed. Because me personally, I don't really look for people like that. Maybe on TikTok, I might look up certain um you know, tie videos, but like, be for real. Every time you do that, you're cheating yourself out of a potential client. And like I said, the worst thing that they could do is say no. Okay, well, next, but you got to stop. You got to stop getting, um, you got to stop being scared because, you know, the thing about entrepreneurship is like, it's really not for everybody. Everybody is not built out to do it, especially doing hair and stuff. You know, there's a lot that goes into it aside from just sitting behind the chair. If you're scared to like, say your pricing, you're scared to like ask for pictures, do this or do that, you're not going to be successful. That's just the bottom line. Like you got to really be your biggest fan, your biggest promoter. Like I want to take a picture because my shit is hitting. Okay. 
you have to. Yeah, and most of the time, yeah, like most of the time, clients, if you do a good job, they be happy. Like sometimes a couple of my clients be like, when you don't, they be telling me like when stylists don't take a picture, it's like, did you do good or not? Because like, I'm offended. yeah, like they be like, why don't you want to take my picture? <laughs> you don't it's like, like girl, you, you just look a mess. That's why. But <laughs> <laughs> hair still in it though. But yeah, they be like, why did you want to take my picture? And I be like, oh my bad, I didn't know, sure, girl. Or they be like, you still didn't post. Like, damn, bitch. <laughs> let me, let me, let me. So, yeah, you got to really. I used to be, I used to be afraid with my pricing. But it really helped me when I um, got a booking site. Just because, like, when I moved to the salon, my prices went up. And I was like, people are just going to be hella mad. But you have to just realize, like, sometimes. Well, I'm starting to realize the more I do hair, like, you'll outgrow people. You know, your clientele and people who really see value in you will end up coming to you. And now I love all my clients. I love all of them. So Taz, um, I was like reading a post or whatever. And that's like your own, that's like your insecurity for yourself. Like you, you got to start seeing the value in what you're asking for. Cause it's like, I used to be the same. I used to be the same way. I used to be the same way. You got to build up your confidence. Yeah. Sorry, I'm reading TikTok comments. Hey, Panna, I've been watching you for years. Now you're so funny. Thank you, girl. I don't even be doing that thing. <laughs> Am I crazy, Bri? <laughs> Y'all don't be doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, I don't be doing nothing, y'all. It's really my friends that are hella funny, and I just be there with them. I'm just the common denominator, but they're all just hella funny. <sighs> y'all think the uh, movie sales for Titanic is, like, booming right now? Probably. You know whenever some shit like that happens, and people mm -hmm. be like, Titanic, what's that? I feel like your generation probably didn't watch Titanic. Have you watched it? No, I haven't. See, I knew it. It's a classic. Have you watched Notebook? No. Oh my, loving basketball. Yes. I've seen okay, it. I was gonna say, bitch, give me that black white. Yeah, I've seen that. Titanic and uh, Notebook are six thirteen movies. Blessings, Pan, everyone. How's little man doing? I haven't been on YouTube in a while. He's good, y'all. My son is five months. He's currently with his dad. Um, he's doing really, really good. He's super advanced. Just dealing with some eczema. So we're trying to get through that. Um, but he's about to be crawling. He's eating solid food. Oh, my God. I know. Not solid food. I'm sorry. Uh, but I meant, like, she... real food. Yeah. Like, baby food. Um, He's just a really good kid. Like, everybody who comes across him or, like, watches him, they're always like, he's so, he's such a happy baby. He's just, like, he's the best, y'all. He really is the best. Yeah, I really, really love him. <laughs> Never seen Titanic. It's crazy to me. No, for real. I watch Titanic all the time. I might actually go home and watch it. Isn't it hell of a I said he's about to start crawling. He's not crawling just yet, but he is definitely scooting. Wait, chilling with Ray? That's not the same as Ray Sinai, right? But yeah, he's not crawling yet. He's like scooting. Yeah. <laughs> die die I love you thank you I owe you my heart Titanic made me cry too I watch it all the time isn't it a hella long movie yeah girl it's like three hours but it's so good you have to watch it you don't got the attention span for that I just I promise you it's really good okay I can't believe that you never watched that it's like okay the the ship sunk and a lot of people died like i get it and there wasn't enough room on the door at the end or i mean there was but she she just let him drown she just what jack isn't that at, at the end when they're floating on the door everybody's like there yeah, was room she for them did, both. but there was no room there was no room yeah but it's a good movie it's gonna make you cry yeah it really is that's a good one. Notebook is good too. 
that's just a really good love story. Yeah. Mm. Let me see. These people that were... Those people that went down to the sea, the Titanic died. It's sad. I know. It is really sad. I actually really did feel bad. Like, I was like, oh, what? I feel like I just hope it was something that was, like, quick, you know? Yeah. And not, like... I just hope for them that they didn't suffer because that's hella sad. And I feel like that's a horrible way to, like... Go. I mean, for me, personally, like, I just wouldn't want to know. Like, I hope it just imploded and it was, like, blunt force. Like, you're just done. But it's, like... You just never know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God, Panda. Hey, sorry, let me see. Let me start at the top. I want to see it in the movies when it was... The anniversary of the movie was amazing. Yeah, and it had me confused, too. It's a love story. Oh, my God, Panda, I finally caught that. What movie, Panda, I have got to go since it's 1 a.m. I'll try my best to say it. See you, girl. You can always watch the live replay on YouTube. He had it really bad, and it worked wonderfully for him. Wait, 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 wait. Hi, Panda. Love you. How do I start braiding my own hair? Part it and braid. I have used it, so I know it works for eczema. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I can't scroll up. So can you tell me what you used? I'm just really curious. My comments are weird on YouTube right now. Let me see if I can turn this off and turn it back on. No. Okay. There we go. You seen how my comments was looking before? Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Mo is on her way here. Pen, I have to. Okay, I already read that. <clears throat> She's on her way here, y'all. She's on her way. She's on her way. The party ain't always have to remember to switch the live. Yeah, you know. Thank you so much, Dada. I love you, girl. Stop tapping now. Tapping now, because you're really gonna get arthritis. But you a real one. I love you for that. A herbal oil, vitamin E, and pure shea butter. Blend it like an electric mixer. Make it smooth better. Okay, I'm gonna have to try that. I have always. Okay, I'm gonna have to try that. You got me on Instagram. Did somebody DM that to me or like screenshot it for me? Because I just know I'm not going to remember that. I just know I'm not. But thank you so much. So actually my client made me, um, well, she didn't make it for me. She has like a natural product line and I've been using that and it has been working really well, but... So far, nothing has, like, gotten rid of it, but her products do just keep it really moisturized so he's not scratching and stuff. So, I really do love that. But yeah, it's really hard to stay on top of it because it gets so dry and then he digs into his skin and I feel like I'm starting all over again. You have eczema? I used to. I grew out of it. Really? What did you use for yours? I had to use uh, hydrocortisone. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm using. Well, I was using. I had it really bad. I had like patches like this whole area but you got like just the over-the-counter one i think so because mm. i think there's a like you can get one prescribed to you i think that's stronger but i think i just had like a regular one mm. interesting everybody like 
my doctors told me to use aqua for hydrocortisone, but everybody told me like those chemical are just like not good. Yeah, honestly, they're like go the natural routes. So that's what I'm trying. Yeah, I don't even really want to say that the hydrocortisone is what made my eczema go away. It was honestly not scratching for me mm -hmm. because the more you scratch, like the more irritated the area was, and just it, you know, like you scratch it, it gets irritated and inflamed and then you want to scratch more so it's like it's just a bad cycle yeah you feel like it uh it spread too when you scratch it yes but mine was primarily in like the the joint so like i got it in my elbows and in the back of my knees too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and like now i actually some of it is back a little bit on my knuckles because i wash my hands a lot so they get really dry Use a straight aloe vera plant. It will clear up in three days. I use it on my twins. I was shocked. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to try that. I'm trying not to, like, do too much of, like, a bunch of different stuff, you know? I'm trying to, like, stick to one thing and just see if I see any results because I feel like me just trying hella different stuff. You won't know what works. Mm -hmm. Hi, is that Cynthia? Hi, Cynthia. Yeah, right now it's 958, y'all. But I'm off tomorrow, so. Yeah. But yeah. I might try the aloe vera because I feel like that will work. That might be no, y'all. And it is. Y'all was talking shit? I said, where's Mo? Where's Mo? Oh, yeah, I'm here. Whoever said aloe vera, yes, that was someone on TikTok. So, yeah. Did I get the lot done or no? Um, not like I thought you would. It's hard because her ends are hella blunt. Mm -hmm. So I gotta like hella tuck these. Her stylist wanna cut her hair right before she got her hair braids. That shit's hella irritating. Be the vain one talking about her own Me, I'm her stylist. Huh? I said, you be the vain one talking about her I don't like braiding blunt ends. I hate when people come in here with blunt ass ends. I know. That's how it. Her hair needs to be cut. It's better when you do it so you can't be us. Mm hmm. Did y'all miss me? Y'all talking shit about me? Girl, boo. Nobody was even thinking about you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nobody was thinking about you. We were talking about them dumb 613s. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, I don't want to call them dumb. There Adventurous. Go my die die, huh? Was asking for you. I heard you just was looking for me. Here I go. Here I go. Uh, uh, here I go. I heard you was looking for me. Who y'all here? Okay. Thicky, 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 thick. Like a lollipop waiting for a lick, girl. <laughs> Where's my comb? Oh. She thicky, 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 thick. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's ask the people. Y'all think China should buy my outfit for Pride? That's a serious question, people. What is your outfit and why would she buy it? Why not? Uh, because you're grown. So? <laughs> <laughs> That's just like saying, why should I buy her food? That's different. Girl, That's I was just out there for how long I was out there? I paid for everything. Parties and all. So stop playing. Mm -mm. What'd she say? Mm. She's talking about, you ain't buying me no food. You're lying. Mm -mm. No, I don't need that back. I just want you to buy my What's outfit. What's the outfit? I don't know yet. Girl, you better buy you some colorful wings and call it today. Not colorful wings. Girl, don't they go to Pride naked? Yes, but no. Okay, that's so only in the Astro, though. No, I'm not trying to see dicks. I like vaginas, but nobody walks around with their vaginas out, and I don't know if I want to see that. They don't. Thank God. Mm -hmm. You ever see old shriveled up penises? <laughs> Ew. Hey, 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 Daddy. I'm trying to get me and a pension. You heard me? <laughs> He gonna be like, I don't want you, I want him. No, sir. 
I know I, that brings me back to that question. Yo, pride. Yeah, pride is too much. Panda, don't forget the ring light in your storefront. Uh, I'm not, y'all. The task. Thank you so much yes, for that. Yes, Thank you for reminding yes. me, girl. Look, I forgot all these that yeses. Yeses. Yes. Oh, y'all want y'all want mother to have a sugar mama, huh? No, not a sugar mama. Just a supportive bay. I did hit 1.2k on YouTube. Okay, period. Congratulations. But see, with stuff like that, like if I ask her to buy my yep, yep. See, look at all these yeses. If I ask her to buy my outfit, then I have her shoplift me. She can push it. You said shoplift for you? Shoplift me? Oh, I was not gonna say not you stealing. Yeah, pride is too much. The six thirteen gauge is too much. I'd rather be in that summer submersible. Oh. Now Tyree, <laughs> now people gonna start saying that. That's gonna be a thing. I'd rather be in that submersible than do do this. Y'all ain't coming here talking about y'all stop. No, what? Thank you. Any tips to get my watch time up? I'm real close. Look, over here, they talk about yep, yep. Look, yep. Yeah, she's I would say yep. so. Look, YouTube. Look, um, my babe buys my outfits, and sometimes I buy his. Okay. YouTube has a thing where you could look at like what portions of your videos people are watching. I would say like try to figure out what it is they like or try to hook them in and um keep posting that. You gotta cater to your audience. Boo 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 boo. And you know shorter content has been in, so maybe shorter content. I'm not sure what it is you post. Nah, she has not been too nice to talk from. Oh, you just told her you was gonna sock her in her double chin. Like, be for real. And she called me a bitch. And what the fuck is Timu? Timu is like a, uh, it's like Shein, but cheaper. Oh, wow. You can get your whole outfit for 74 cents. Fuck out of here with that shit. Yes, it's definitely like Wish. Oh, see, never. <laughs> Never. I that I'm gonna order her an outfit from Timu. I like too. her. You want a side or a middle part? Um, side. What side do you want the part on? This side. You want it like to fall this way? Yeah. Okay. Timu got some cute outfits now. Uh uh, brown skin love real. Don't ever buy me nothing from Timu, okay? Whole outfit for seventy four cents is crazy. No, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Timu be. Yeah. You can get a pack of tank tops for a dollar. It will be there mm -hmm. February thirtieth. Hey, you better buy. <laughs> hey, no, China. You better buy her. You better buy her some white, uh, some white spaghetti strap tank tops and some of them little colorful soft balls. Or she better glue her some, throw some glitter on it with some uh, Elmer's glue. Oh, she can spell out her name on the show. Mo loves pride with the rainbow and then sp sprinkle different colored glitters on top and let it dry. And then you can glue the little circular cloth balls on there. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Be looking like a Christmas ornament. No, thank you. The fuck? She is. She's not gonna me. forget, Toss. I'll make sure that I remind her, love. You are serious about that. Why don't you just go on Amazon and look for a big one? Because she That's wants this one. Okay. I'm gonna it's send it big. to her. It's big. Like my booty. <laughs> You're welcome, Toss, baby. I got you, boo. It's wide, like your delusion. Right, period. I'm sorry, it's like all my life I've just been so thick that like I can't really take when somebody thinks. <laughs> when they think they think. Thinks that they like a bony either. ass booty is thick. Grumpy. You sat on me, it feel like knives poking me. Oh, now she hung up. Have you been on the phone with her since you left here? Yeah. She's talking about she loves it though. To sit on the phone? No, my booty. Mm -mm. It's getting a stank dunk. Pull up on me. Ooh. Y'all been waiting for the gel to fall. Too bad it fell on my belly button and I picked it back up. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And don't be hanging up the damn phone. Nobody told you to hang up. Girl, you've been on the phone with her for hella hours. It's not that much shit to talk about. No, it is. Are you serious? Yes. We were talking the entire time. What's up, Jackie? What the fuck? Monique sits on the phone with this girl all day. She And she's in the chat. And do, girl. I've never do ordered from work. Shein. I haven't either. Girl, do some work. I am doing some work. Not exactly. Okay. 
Not y'all right. talking on TikTok and on the phone. We're not on the phone. She had not. Oh, what? Oh, I thought you called her right. No. You was talking like you was on the phone? Because she's talking in the chat. Mm -mm. So you like that, China? Thing. Well, China's a cancer, right? Yes. Mm, she probably do like that. That clingy, too. And bipolar is fuck. It's a fucking roller coaster fucking with her. No? Wow. She's talking about she loves space. She switched up. Because in the beginning, it wasn't near that bad. Big ass. He wasn't acting. What? Like a clown? What? Thing I told you earlier today, love, is I never switched up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, would y'all rather, would y'all rather get on a, a rocket ship with Elon Musk to go to space, or would y'all rather get in the submersible and go underwater? Space, girl. Not, okay. not okay. Look, the submersible would just re recently happened, so it didn't happen. Okay. I'm still going to space. You um, going to space? I'm going to yeah. say space, too. Why? I like space, and my reasoning is like... I feel like I could fall out of the sky and just roll when I get close to the bottom position by the kitchen. <laughs> Bitch, right before you hit Earth, you're going to try to roll? I'm going to try to roll. And your dumb ass is going to hit the wrong part of your neck and be dead anyway. <laughs> no, I'm going to try to roll, stick and roll. <laughs> no, for real. No, I'm gonna want to. Y'all know all y'all gotta do is make your body like you never did the damn man float, and you'll get to the top eventually. You're gonna be dead by the you're time you get to the yes. top. Ma'am, you're gonna be dead falling from space. No, I'm gonna have yes. a parachute on. See, you can't take that pressure, that atmospheric pressure up there. I feel, I feel like if anything went wrong in space, you would die quicker. I'm sorry, but if you're in the ocean, because we don't even know if they're dead yet, they could just be down there suffering, no, which is awful. Dead. That shit was shattered. You don't they know said it blew from. up. It blew they up. said they found, they found, uh, you didn't see the residue? Mm -mm. Yes, that shit is. How do you know it's from that? It's not from the Titanic. Nah, bruh. They, nobody even really knows the truth. How did they get down there and see it? Mm -hmm. They lied to y'all. It's giving fake. It's giving they picked a piece of the ocean. The they could have photoshopped that picture. I was finna say that. And photoshopped How about y'all to go down there and see? No, thank you. <laughs> uh -uh, I'm okay. See if it's real or not. Oh, it was parts from the summary. Somebody's like, they did. Yeah, they oh, did. they found part. Okay. Well, they, yeah, they How did. do they know that it's parts from the submarine? Who actually went down there? It's and not a submarine. It's a submersible. A submersible. What is the difference? <laughs> Because it's small. And a submersible, isn't it like, a submarine is like powered by itself. Like, the submersible oh. is like powered by the boat, right? Or something like that. Or like. By remote control. And yeah. I don't think a submarine can go that deep. I don't know. I could have just made that up. I don't actually don't know the difference. I'm just talking. <laughs> don't need to do it. He didn't want to go before. That's good. They, they sent, sent a robot. robot. Mm. Well, why can't the robot go down there before? Yeah, yeah why they can't make the robot said it earlier. Boat or something like that. Where was the robot when they two hours after they went missing? They went missing. <laughs> the closest I'm getting to space is a plane trip, and the closest I'm getting to, <laughs> to the ocean is a cruise ship. No, for real. I'm even scared to get on a cruise ship. I ain't even gonna lie because of the goddamn Titanic. I've been on a cruise ship one time and they are crazy. But I seen something that actually was talking about cruise ships and they're way safer than the Titanic. Like just the way that they're built. That's what they tell you. <laughs> Until they hit the iceberg. Right. And it's freezing like fuck. Ain't no icebergs out here though. You gotta be in like Antarctica or something, right? Mm hmm. Our water's not cold enough. I would be mad as fuck at my dad for making me go down there. Yeah, rich people are way too poor. You wouldn't be mad at nothing because you would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Though. Where was his mama at? Because my mom would be like... Hell to the no, no, no. That's why it's important to have black friends. 
<laughs> or a black baby mama or something. Because you need somebody to bring you back, back to reality. reality. No, straight up. Uh, Nigga, we're billionaires. Yeah, and that's what the you thing. mean. People with money, people with hella money like that do the dumbest shit. And now your money is just sitting. You can't even enjoy it. But that's what I'm saying, though. 250000 for you to take a fucking eight-hour trip to the bottom of the ocean? No, thank you. You just gave that to somebody and changed their whole life. That just don't even sound right. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the bottom of the ocean. Bitch. Just no. a day trip. The fuck? No. It's not just going to the bottom of the ocean. It's an historic accomplishment that only a select group of people you can say. You use your finest imagination. Maybe. <laughs> go to the museum. Money gonna be snorkeling talking about I see something. <laughs> no, straight up. I see you with my feet, feet touching the feet, so water so shallow her feet touching the ground. I think I see I parts see of the shit. I do. I see it. Shit, I see them up like a little mermaid. God there. daddy will catch a fade mm. in the afterlife. Ursula bitch that's you they said black people with money buy houses, cars, jewelry. No, for real. Now, now that's what they do do is buy houses, cars, jewelry, purses, shoes, hair. Nigga, she about to get the baddest bundles, okay? Never shedding. 250000 I would have got me some good 80 inch. I'm buying some land. <laughs> no, straight, up. straight up. And I'm talking about at that point, you could bring my wildest dreams. Dreams I never even thought of. To make this shit last straight up. I'm going to get this shit laid and slayed. At that point, I'm getting a frontal. <laughs> mm -mm. I'll even go get my eyebrows tattooed. Okay. 250K. Like, what? That's like them dummies who did, went to that stupid ass festival and paid 250K and then got mad when they got there and got bologna sandwiches. <laughs> Are you talking about the fire, fire festival? festival? <laughs> Dummies. Now, dummy, why would you pay two hundred and fifty thousand for a music festival to see Blink One Eighty Two? Be so fucking for real. I would give me a three hundred and sixty lace ring. Wig, Stop playing. Wig, lace wig, no, for real. Three fifty lace, no, straight up. Give me what? What's they call? Um, what's them? Them? Um, those ones called where it looks like it's really on your head. What's it called? What's it called? What's the word I'm looking HD for? HD lace. Them. I'm getting about four, five. Now, I want Nicki Minaj's scalp and follicles. Scout that bitch and give it to her. Give mm -hmm. her to me. Turn to, actually, nah, she worth way more than 250k. <sighs> lease wig? What is that? Oh, you meant to say lace. lace. 250k. Mm. Lace wig. Y'all ever look at y'all ever look at which when when it's tax time, y'all ever look at what y'all made for the year and then look at your bank account and be hella sad. Hell like, where the fuck is all my money? And then I you know, look at your door dash. I was going to say, my food. <laughs> Straight up. Especially nowadays, baby. Because these thighs. Well, You'd be like, ain't no way I made that much money. Well, you definitely did. I'd be paying attention now to the delivery fee. Like, hell no. Me too. If I'm 99, the fuck? All the time. <laughs> no, for real. 80,000. What? <laughs> Bitch on food? Door dash. No, I spent hella money on door dash. Oh, but this um, pastel back here is cute. How cute. Whew. This is a lot of work, y'all. Almost there. We are almost there. I miss my son. I'm surprised my husband ain't called me. Mm. I had to close my DoorDash account this week. I was doing too much. And eating too much. Yeah, I'm doing the same. I need my hair done. Hey, Juju Nisi. Hey, goddamn words in that comment. I do it, and I made sure I do them twigs and two strands this time. Not twigs. I'm into shoes and purses, and I would have houses full before I go to space or under the sea. Really? I'm not into either of those. What do I spend my money on? Food. For real, for real. Actually, might as well be eating out at nice restaurants. Because, mm -hmm. baby, one thing about me, I'm going to eat. 
at a nice restaurant. How many crabs do you think we eat a year? Like whole crabs. I'm for sure saying about 50. A year? A year. Yeah, probably 50. I'm eating crab at least three times a month. Straight up. Once every other week. Yeah. But I also do have a nice house and a nice car. So, like, and a nice salon space. So, yeah, I'm definitely spending money on that. You could run out of cruise ship for 250k and could there's just so much you could do but the thing is is y'all 250k is a lot to us that was probably not a lot to them like they're probably like ha brokies 250k <laughs> that's nothing that's their that's their throwaway money right would you get your own and they need to throw it away in my direction <laughs> that's straight up look right what? call me trash can throw it at me <laughs> Call me garbage. Would you get your own salon? Mm -hmm. Like a private space, y'all. I don't want to run the salon like with other people. I just want me. Yeah, that's what I was like. That's what I was saying earlier. A private space. Yeah, maybe I should look for one by where I live, huh? Um, yeah, or maybe even just still out here. But I'm sick of you people, and you can't even sit the back door. Bitch, fuck your couch. Fuck that back door. <laughs> I just feel like I'm kind of like unproblematic yeah. and I just feel like I don't like feeling like I'm being hella watched, you know? Yeah. And it's like I am here late, but like I don't tear up this place. I don't do anything. Right. Don't and I realize. asked if it was 24 hours and it is. So. We're polite. Like I smile at all these motherfucking sick persons and I don't want to. <laughs> what the fuck? Sometimes I don't be speaking though. Yeah, I don't speak, but I smile. Or maybe I think I'm smiling. No, and then remember I told you when I first moved in, she kept telling me, like, reminding me about paying rent. Yeah. And I was or like, no, I don't what? think it was the rent part. I think it was um, putting you on, like, a panel or something. No, not that. She used to text me every day, like, rent reminder. Like, what? I don't need a reminder. Bitch. Like, wow. I've never, I was, have never been like, late on my rent or Do never you teach will be. Braiding classes? I will be. I've been here since your last client. You a real one, girl. I'm almost there. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. <laughs> Y'all, her hair just doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. She be bald-headed. Right. Sorry, don't be slapping. Do not last long. It depends on how you take your hair. And it really just depends on how your hair grows, honestly. Mm-hmm. Because I've heard people say they don't last as long as, like, with the knot, but I feel like they last the same for me. You got really coarse hair, though, too. I don't know. Yeah, for me, they last the same because I'm keeping it in the same. I don't keep my braids past in, like, three, four weeks. Is the lock and twist by Pure O because I see red and yellow containers? Yes, it's by Pure O, but I've never seen a red lock and twist. She said red and yellow? Red and yellow containers. I've never seen a yellow container or a red container of it. I need some more edge control. I think a client is still online. I'm so weak. Wow. Click the link in the bio. No. Not the client is so weak. So. Not for real. No, her color is just a peekaboo, y'all, underneath. I'm not putting it anymore. Stop cracking your fingers. That's not good. Well, when I can't braid anymore, it's because you won't let me crack them. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's it. You feel like that releases what? Tension. Pressure. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it feels good. Yeah, the lock and twist is by Puro, but it's in a green container. I've never seen it in any other co container color. That might be an impasta. It's LOC and twist gel. It's not and that's in a black container with like burgundyish color. No, that's oh, lock like, in. Oh yeah, that's lock in. This is lock and twist. Oh yeah. yeah. Lock in is in a black and red container. But that's not lock and twist. It's two different things.
Brie, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, you're from this. <laughs> Quiche is a auger's pay. Why? Girl, you like that, so be quiet. I'm trying to speak a whole nother language. Oh, uh, what? Girl. Nobody knows what I was, what you said. Uh-huh. Quiche is atne um day. Haha, she loves you. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> what the fuck did I say to each other? Lakia, how you been, Pookie? Let your friend Lakia from back in the day. No, that's Lakia Pitts. Well, I don't know if she be on YouTube, but that's not her. How that girl to dread it. Speak Swahili. <laughs> She's I stupid. Swahili. I can't. Cause it's definitely not Swahili. Pretty soon your color will be hidden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe now better sounds so good. Let's just take that as. It actually does sound good right now. Yeah, we only had one sushi roll. Technically, I had two because I had a hand roll. Oh. But that was like little. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what I forgot. I, I usually get a, sorry, I usually get a miso soup. You sure we didn't get any miso soup? I love miso soup, y'all. I did, yes, I did. I love me so. <clears throat> what else? Is there any new celebrity gossip? I'm trying to think of what I saw on Messy Monday. Ain't nothing going on right now. I need to get on Bigo so I can live a messy life. I know I saw that. Um... I didn't even get in too deep with it, but I don't know if anybody has heard about it, but what's that girl named Biggie? I just caught her man cheating. Oh, yeah, I've seen that, but people on Twitter were saying it was fake. Yeah. From baddies? Yeah. She was like, what the fuck? She like, there was a, <laughs> that's what she was sounding like. It was like a rock, a rock sitting on his car, and she like apparently busted his windows, right? Wow, I guess. I don't know. Did y'all watch the Betty East auditions? Mm-mm. Girl... It's good. It's going down in that shit. I fell asleep on it because I was so tired, but all I know is Lo went chasing after some girl with a chair. What? Mm -hmm. Lo? Lo, girl. She went chasing after that girl. What? I think Roly wanted to fight Biggie. Yeah, I saw them arguing. I saw a clip about that. The only thing I saw was when Krishan was talking to the one of the... To a couple of the girls who are auditioning, she was like, either slap somebody or give up the mic. Oh. What? I didn't <laughs> see that. I saw in the very beginning, Krishan was like, um, or what's her name? What's the girl, the host? What's her name? Janisha Don? Yeah, she was like, um, if you had any tips for the girls or whatever to get their spot, what would you tell them? And Krishan goes, hey, somebody slap Natalie. Get your spot. It's like, what? You're a fake bitch because you was just out with her. I feel like they beef be like, Low key fake, like just to keep it going. Mm. Missy Monday, you watch Missy Monday, Jackie. That's crazy. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a I feel like yeah, they definitely got a love hate relationship because girl, you fuck with Natalie. She definitely does. Because even she when she slapped Natalie, Natalie, she didn't even slap her hard. Like so, stop. I thought it was fake. Because if I'm gonna really slap you, I'm gonna cock my arm back and really slap the shit out of you. Mm. Like they do on them TikTok slap battles. Yes, I be saying it like, there's no way in hell I'm finna let you slap the shit out of me and knock me the hell out. No, thank you. Like, Girl, what? they be fading and coming back to life. Yeah, like, like no. Hell no. 
Then if somebody had sent me one and they were slapping ass, no, you're not gonna leave your handprint on my. Would you do shit. a would you do a slap battle with I am Jonathan? He gets to slap you five times in a row, as hard as he can, or would you get in a submersible? You can slap me. Slap me. I am Jonathan five slap times. Five times. I'm not, I'm no, I won't die. No helmet, no mouth guard. I won't die. No helmet, no mouth guard. Ooh. Five yeah. times in a row, that's a lot. That's, it's a lot, but so I So you getting die. in a submersible under the sea? Hell no. <laughs> you go down there with Sebastian. <laughs> you go see Holly? Can we scale it back to three times? Right. God. Okay. There yeah. ain't no compromising. She be, Get your she ass crisscross applesauce. She... Get in that damn submersible. <laughs> that's Ooh. fucked up. I can't get over that. Yeah. I think I'll take I hope I dream time. about it so I can see what it's like being in there. You can't, I don't think you can flinch or move. That has to be in the rules because mm. after you get slapped, I, yeah, no, I no, no, really before, not like you can't before move. My oh. gets There's no fucking way I'm not going to flinch before I get slapped to fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's why you do face exercises. Them slaps don't hurt them people. All right, let them slap you then. And you tell me how they to I said that's why you do face exercises. I ain't exercise no. shit. No. You know them motherfuckers go home and chew all day. They <laughs> strong as a motherfucker. Yeah. How else are you getting slapped? You have to be training for that. How do you train, you train for that? For face you slapped? Yeah, like what? You sitting there like this. <laughs> Start hitting yourself with pillow. Like no, you practice by pillow fighting. Mm -mm. Ooh. That's a good practice. But instead, you put your hand in the pillow like this. Who is Padu? Oh, like the Master of Disguise? That, that, the machine on the Master of Disguise? You remember that movie? Mm hmm. And he had that robot little slapper? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. How should I do my daughter's hair tomorrow? I'm recording. Ooh. Well, how, did you, how old is your daughter? Man, how much hair she got? <laughs> Hi. Who's Padu? That's what I said. <laughs> Hi, Padu. What's up? Padu is so funny. Pana Padu. Yes, in Atlanta, Arizona. I some two. Oh, a two? There's an open one B right here on top. Thank you. You want that? Yeah. Sorry, y'all. I keep knocking y'all. They said Joe Cheesy. Monique said, I mean, China said Joe Cheesy. So. Girl, you like her really bad. You telling China she likes me really bad? Me or hey, Udi Bay. Mm -hmm. While you over here trying to talk. She's five, but I can make it kid friendly. Oh, you know what I've been liking? When people got the bangs, like the single bangs, and then the top is in a, a um, braided bun, but the bun looks like a ninja bun. Mm -hmm. I think that's really cute. cute. And then you can but put don't some... make it too high because it'd be looking like an ice cream cone. Yeah, and then you could like put some butterfly clips on it. That'd be real cute. Or even have some little curls coming out of it. Have you ever used that cell slick gel? What is that? Yeah, is that the, uh, like what's it called? Chemicals. The, um... The Bratz gel? Is it the Brat? Right? The So So Slick? Uh -huh. I have used it. I like it. 
Mm -mm. She's hella nasty. I'm out of town, thugging with my round. My, my booty hole brown. That song is actually a low key slapper. No, it is. Okay, so like a top knot bun with bangs. Yeah, but the bangs gotta be singles and like shorts. That's gonna be cute. Can I record it? Let's record. Who else is up in here? I don't know. They For real? He's doing really, really good. Does, should he be sleeping right now? Oh, he's probably waiting for his mama. I got her on that Kanye West workout plan. Not yet. I need to because if I miss them, I can say one and two and three and four and get those. So that's right. What's his game play? Oh, I can't even see. I need some water. You want some ice? Yes, please. My best. I'm so sleepy on my work, girl. Go to sleep. They ain't finna do I'm shit. Gonna Look, not they not finna do shit. <laughs> That's your way of saying you finna go talk to your other bitches. Oh, here you go. Not too much. Are you trying to see now these things? Like, what the fuck is this? Girl, you just be bugging. Wow. This one? Let me not show China I'm eating skittle candy. You really on my diet? Yeah, I'm not. I was gonna say, Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you in the hospital? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta stay awake, friend. You better get you some coffee. Don't they provide coffee? You better get you some coffee, friend. You say you eat too many sweets. I'm like a week. Mm -mm -mm. I'm out of town. I'm with my hands. Y'all miss my son so much. Shit. I'll be wondering if my son be thinking about me. I told you to y'all find out about my lying ass boyfriend too. You will have to go it's look at it. Um, it's the dipping whip. Strands are dipping with it. Oh, for real? They still there? Mm -hmm. mm, thank you. Why do you always get them cups? Because them little cups don't do shit for me. I rinse them out and wash them before I use them though. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't use them? 
Or you just don't trust it? Huh? No, I'm just saying you gotta wash it. Yeah, I do. Thank you, Judge Juicy. Nah, I've been having baby fever with my man in prison, girl. You better marry him and get them conjugals. You can have that baby. You don't watch, uh, you should uh, apply to marry him and then apply for, uh, what's it called? Love after lockup, girl. <laughs> or he ain't getting out because prison. Oh, he is so pretty. That means he's doing time time, right? Yeah, these cousins are getting ready. Prison is different than state. Oh, no, I'm just going right here. You still got braids over there? Um, this one. Okay. Yeah, I got these ones. Too, but I'm, I'm catching up. You can switch the lights if you want. I don't do your shit. Huh? No, go ahead. Stay. Stay. Won't you stay with me? Because you're... All I need. Damn, I might listen to him on the way home. Or Adele. Hey, 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 something just coming on me. Yeah, y'all, let's tap that screen. We we halfway there. Well, not really. 205K, y'all doing good. We can get married, though. He said he's going to email me every day. Do you feel like it's double working when you have to go back and break it down? She's not going back and breaking down much. My cousin. Oh, um, but maybe that's just a general question for you. Do you I don't like think so, personally, no. But I do it all the time, so that's just, like, the way I do it. But, so I'm curious about this prison bed. So you met him in there, or what? What's the tea on that? Or you met him before and he went in. Because I'm just curious. Would you want me to MA.com or would you want that damn TikTok? Y'all be seeing the prisoners mm -hmm. on TikTok? Mm -hmm. They be like, I'm single. Yes. Girl, they be on there. Looking for my wife and then they tell you about themselves. They be fine too. But, mm -mm. I can never date nobody in jail because you've been locked up for so long. And yes, I'm a baddie, but there's so many other baddies. You know? There's so many other personalities, and yes, you may mesh with me, but what if you get out and you start talking to somebody else? I'm gonna have to kill you. I can't date nobody but my husband. You follow the page, brown skin little girl. You're done. What she do? She follows the prison page. What? Yeah, I can't follow that. That's wild. I got a whole husband. Plus, even if I didn't have a husband, I don't want no prison. Yeah, nah, that's not attractive to me. And then you're doing that shit illegally because you're not supposed to have no phone. <laughs> like, oh, so you a tattletale? No, I'm not telling, but I'm just saying. Mm -mm, you know, people in jail make shit happen outside of the pokey. Not outside of the pokey. <laughs> We've been talking since 14, we're 22 now. Damn. Like, what? Y'all, she's been talking now since she's 14, next 22. That's crazy. That's so wow. And That's been eight years. This whole time. How long he been in there? Stop calling it the pokey. <laughs> that sounds like a dirty belly button. <laughs> You don't got to tell us your business, but we hope you do, though. Prison bad. I wouldn't be with someone who ain't paying bills, and I can't even. No, for real. No, but they be able to pay bills and stuff. They be making it work, honey. Let me tell you. I know somebody who marries somebody in jail, and her ring is fat. Now, I don't know how real it is, but you motherfucking dead. They ain't got no release date yet. They ain't got no fucking way. Damn. I'm hoping that they got them germs. Because I know, like, fuck, they don't clean them shits. Just cause they enjoy. You be their friends? Oh uh, no, brown skin, you're getting toxic as hell. So what if you've been dating a guy for two years and he goes into jail, but he went in for? Okay, so so you met this dude, right? Here she go. <laughs> Not here she <laughs> goes. <laughs> Bree, you met this dude, right? And you fall in love with him. It's been two years, and. You actually went to buy a cell phone because your cell phone broke, and you went to buy a cell phone from this dude off of Facebook Marketplace. But you didn't know that instead of selling you an iPhone, he was really trying to sell you crack. It was a cold word. And you kind of felt weird because, like, the way he was describing it, like, which one you want. 
and you was like the 13 Pro Max and he was like the 13 Pro Sack. Like it was just oh, wow. suspicious, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so you went and it was really a drug transaction, but it went bad because like I said, you was clueless. And so the, the dude went to shot, shoot you, but your man shot back. So he didn't shoot you and killed him. Now he's in jail for murder and he got 17 years. Are you holding him down? <clears throat> 17 not? with a guarantee to get out on probation or 17 to life? 17 with a guarantee to get out on probation. Oh. Probation, he only going to have two years. Shit. I mean, I might hold... Oh, that's not my question. That's your question. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's tough, but if he's going to get out... I mean, if he shot somebody to save my life, like, that's not something to be taken lightly, but also 17 years is a long time. Baby, you better marry that man. Like, what? You could have just died off your own incompetence and ignorance. No, you can hold them down. But see, so so for me, I will hold them down. If they did that to save my life, I will hold you down. But we're going to have to have a conversation because I'm going to need some coochie. That's so the issue right so there. It's first like, of all, for you, it's not a him, it's a her. Yeah, that's what I'm so saying. So you're going to hold her down? I'm going to hold her down. But, but y'all going to be in an open relationship? Yes. At least until you get out. Yeah, and I'm going to just do my thing. But until these bitches, like, I'm not here forever. So don't catch feelings. Now, you didn't tell told the bitch that you didn't fell in love. No, no, no. I'm not falling in love. No, you did. No, I'm not. You didn't plan on it. You didn't plan Ooh. on it, but you did. That's tough. You fell and you fell hard. Ooh. Mm. What mm. you gonna do now? I'm gonna just have two bitches. <laughs> 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 Shit. Listen, you like what I'm saying? Because the people in jail, they not innocent either. She could probably have hella bitches come visit True. her. Or in you know jail. Or in, in jail, jail is crazy. Yes. Hella bitches coming to visit her. Yes. <laughs> Now, didn't you have a story where you went to go visit somebody and there was another bitch there? Well, now you're telling my business. Oh, I'm just saying. You want people to tell that? Wow. <laughs> so now you're playing on, you're, you're turning these 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 uh, scenarios so into good. trauma? <laughs> oh, that was traumatic for you? No, it wasn't traumatic, but I was definitely, like, that really actually broke my heart. Yeah. Like, and I really went to college. I was hella sad, y'all. Like... <laughs> Because this was a man, like, I fought my parents. Like, I fought against my parents for him. Like, I was really holding him down. And y'all got to understand how I grew up. Like, for me to date somebody in jail, that was devastating to my parents. Yeah, y'all was there on the live when we did the reveal of the treasure box. <laughs> and she had the shits from the nigga. Yeah, but I threw that away because I got See, a husband. See, I don't play that. You call and ask for his call log, who's on his visitation list, all that. See? Mm-hmm. It's all kinds of shit. That's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna two bitches, three, four, five bitches. That man thought I was. Uh, he thought I was gone. I showed up. He looked like a ghost. Yeah, and I was trying to surprise him too. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and she told me they had been dating for a year. Bet I said, oh, bet. Wow. Bet. And this is your first time here, boo. So if y'all was dating for a year, you're not even holding your nigga down for real. Cause I'm here. Every Saturday. How do you know that was her first time? Because I was there every Saturday. I know, but how, isn't there a different scheduled time? No, there's only one visit. Oh, wow. It, they only get 30 minutes a day. So, like, if whoever's visiting you, y'all have to go at the same time. You share your visit. Ooh. Damn. Damn, so you sharing a visit with a bitch? I left. Oh. That was the day before I left for college. Oh, yeah. Girl, I, I, oh, I left. I went to the window. I said, oh, this is what we doing? Bet. And he looked, he really looked like he saw a ghost. And I sure did. I walked right the fuck out. I sure mm-hmm. did. And I never looked back. Went to college and I was supporting. And I was like, oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was better than what I thought. Better than what I thought. And then as I got older, I realized he had a little pee pee. <laughs> 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 that was the only dude I messed with. So I didn't really know. And then afterwards, I was like, wait. Y'all visit her six hours? Six hours? Well, she, he in prison. She was in, the, Alice was in Santa Rita. <laughs> you know, they get a little 30 minute bang bang. Six hours is crazy. What do you talk about for six hours? Like, damn, I'm tired of you shit. <laughs> Security, they came back to his cell. <laughs> six hours? Y'all get to touch or what? For six hours, I'm not looking through no window. No, he ain't still in jail. That man been out. 
You should do a tutorial. You you new here? Lake of the Lion. Are you new here? A tutorial on what? Lika. Freaka Lika. Ooh, Freaka Leek. Hey, I wish my name was Leek. Freaka Leek. I'm gonna name your daughter. Her uh, nickname's gonna be Leek Leek. Leek Leek. No, because I ain't gonna call my daughter Freaka Leek. <laughs> Alealani. Oh, that's what you, you're gonna keep that name? No. I think I'm gonna have a daughter. Yes. I think you're gonna get blessed with that's a real thing. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. They already gonna call her Mama Moo. Hey, Mama Moo. Where'd you get that from? Doopy Boo and Mama Moo. Let me just be making sure that. <laughs> California. Mama Moo and Doopy Doo. I wouldn't mind having a girl the more I think about it. It's just like hard for me to envision. But I wouldn't mind it. I want kids but only girls. Only girls? That's crazy. Who would you want for me? I want a girl. Really? Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. You I, see yourself as a girl mom? Yeah, and I grew up around boys. Like I'm the only girl. Mm -hmm. So and like when my little brother was born, I wanted a sister. But I got a little brother, so. How old are boys? Yeah, get on my nerves. I just want twin boys. Really? Mm -hmm. I want twin boys hella bad. <clears throat> I, I want a boy sweet. and a girl. Mm -hmm. We live in California. Here y'all go, you two, falling asleep. Panda corny as fuck. What I do? I ain't holding down and marrying nobody I can't travel with and roll over to. <laughs> you can roll over to him, like I said, comfortable. Two boys and a girl. And you can travel to see him. <laughs> Y'all can go on virtual dates. You can change the background on your screen when you get your FaceTime call. <laughs> you can be wherever you want to be, sis. Yeah, Jamaica, sure. Hawaii. You could be you on can the be beach. under a waterfall. No, for real. You know they got them moving screens on TikTok now. Heck a week. <sighs> That's hella funny. I'll date somebody in prison if me and Dre broke up though, just to get on the show. Love after lockup. Mm -mm. <laughs> I love that show. It's so ghetto. This one couple I saw, um, the dude was in jail, of course, and got out, and the girl was pregnant. The mama gonna say you need a paternity test to see if that's really his baby because that was just too quick. Mm -hmm. Wait, he got out. And yeah, he got out, and they you know started doing things. Or whatever, and she ended up pregnant. And the mama was not feeling it, and she was like, "You need a paternity test to see if that's your my grandson, daughter, or whatever is going." Because that was just too quick. Why would that be too quick though? That would be more of a reason for it to be his, right? And you never know how fertile these women are. Like people are hella fertile. One bad whim, thank you, man. And all it takes is pre, um, K okay, to get pregnant. You ain't even gotta do a lot. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I hear. I ain't never been pregnant, but that's what I hear. I have. It's lit. I miss being pregnant. I mainly miss the getting free food from people. Oh, you miss the benefits. The benefits. One thousand percent. Yes. She been there all day. Who been here all day, girl? No, she has not. Clinic. They probably talking about me. Oh. Mo, what's it's up? It's crazy to me that y'all think two clients is all day. Like, how you think people supposed to get money? Especially since y'all think y'all should only pay us $100. So how do y'all think we supposed to... How do you think... Oh, because she had already money? asked who's helping her break because she's been here all day. Clinic, I hope you are the owner of the makeup. What's your name with it? Girl. That, could be, her, that could be her... Uh, that could be a real name. What's I going to say? Um, honestly, y'all, I've only been doing her hair for like three hours, maybe. Has it even been that long? Yeah, because we started at like, oh, maybe it's a little more. We started at like seven. You were supposed to be at what's Oh, but see, she six. got blow dry. Yeah. She got trimmed. trimmed. We so had to combo the hair. Like 7 30. Yeah, 8 30, 9 30, 10 30. It's been like three hours of braiding. 
That's actually pretty good. Her she hair is probably tough. Y'all don't really hair understand hair. how hard it actually is because her oh, hair is okay. hella fucking thick. Like, I don't th- think it's really coming off on camera what it is. Like, no, her shit is thick, y'all. Like, no, this thick, and then thick. I gotta tuck these extra blunt ass ends. This is like really, I feel like not as easy as y'all probably thinking it is. Was that two rows? Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm just making it look easier. Mm-hmm. What y'all think Cash is doing? Crying. Girl, why would you say that? Being called potato. <laughs> no, hell in the head. Oh my god. Damn, he's probably hella sad, huh? Who is Bunna? Oh, you trying to follow me on both pages? Uh huh. Girl, who are you talking to? Who is this? Let's find out. <laughs> you are in and out? Yes. Hell yeah. I love you, I love you, I love you, Lord, today. You parked in the front? Because, because you me. So you came in the back? No, I came in the front. I came you in the front. You walked around? Yeah, I respect your I think, business. No, I think the next time we see you, I'm going to introduce you to her. Yeah. and just I'm going to be like, hey, this is Mo, this is my assistant. I just wanted to give you a heads up because I think, you know, you think yeah. she's a client when she's here and she's working. Yeah, and then like when I come here now, I come in uniform. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna tell her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna just be like, I don't know, like, but she sometimes she takes the trash out for me, and I don't want to make her walk all the way around. So right, not even just the trash, but like I'm your whole assistant. Like I do everything. I go to the bathroom. I go get water, tea, ice, coffee for the clients. I take the trash out. You yeah. know, I run errands. I go to the fucking post office like I'm a real life assistant. And no, bitch, we're not paying extra rent. I don't think you have to pay extra rent because you can sublet your place too. Oh, see, I'm an, I'm a I'm a worker here. That's why I'm kind of like um, just just see, because they don't have that in their contract, right? You can't have an assistant. No, what? what the fuck? But yeah, she probably doesn't know. I think she just doesn't know. She probably because she's like she was like your client. Like that's not a oh, client. Okay, yeah, she doesn't know. We the Africans up in this bitch. What's up? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I think that will probably um. She's probably talking about be Nick being there helping all day. Oh, that's all I said. Oh. Maybe. I think Quinique left after I talked about her. I'm sorry. Yeah, why you be mean to her? Why you be mean there? You know, when, they, when it gets late either. and people start talking out the side of their necks, not knowing what they're talking about. Or I see comments, I guess. I'm going to start being quiet. No, sometimes sometimes people do be trying to be smart, though. Yeah. You never know. You got to read the room. You got to read the room. Um, she probably wasn't trying to be. Read the room. 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 No, thick hair, dude. It look, it's like, I ain't going to lie. It's hella satisfying. Like, just to see her scalp, I just want to do this. Like, touch it. Because, baby. No, but... Did her shit look thick to y'all before I started? Or no? Dang, I can't see no comments. Oh, Mo. I'm sorry. Go out and come back in. Then you'll be able to see. 
clear all your apps. Sometimes I feel like when you have other apps running and stuff, you can't see stuff. You did? Okay. I'm just curious because maybe I didn't play it in enough for y'all to see because baby. <laughs> no, but kinky hair, thick hair does eat in knotless. It does. Especially all black. Like, I'll be real, I'll be real fascinated with the whole thing afterwards. Like, damn, that shit was so nice. Even before we did this, sometimes I'd be looking at my. But the color we did before wow. hers, her braids was eating too. Mm -hmm. That just looked hella good. I'd be eating her shit down every time. And thank you for trusting me with your mixing of the colors. Oh, yeah. You did good. Because, you know, I was definitely looking. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, you know, I would say something. Yeah. And I feel like you wouldn't do nothing you wasn't confident with because you'd always be asking. Mm -hmm. You'd be like, no, I'm going to let you do that. <laughs> yeah. And I love the way you did it there. You did very good. Thank you. I'm just trying to get them in straight, straight. Sometimes people don't want me cutting. And I don't want me cutting no more. No one do. And that's another reason why I like to try to braid as to the end as I can. Because some people don't want it trim. Like, no, don't cut my hair. <laughs> that's not like. Don't cut my hair, got mommy. Are you? <laughs> you like watching this braid? Thank you, Onisha. You trying to do something. 21, can you do something for me? No, I do like watching people braid too. But a lot of people be moving a little too slow for me. I like to watch people braid, but I do enjoy people who like talk, you know? Because mm -hmm. I feel like I try to speak when I come in. I ain't gonna lie, that one lady with the gum, she went, she had did a video recently. I was like, no, she was louder. <laughs> louder. <laughs> yeah, she's funny. I feel like I'm kind of over those videos now, though, because I've seen hell of them. Yeah, I only run into them every now and then. I really, literally she do even not. She styles down, though. No, she does. She had just did some, um, I don't think they was human hair, but they was small with the boho, but it was hella curly hair, and it was so pretty. It was cute. But it came, she cut it off the bundles, too, but it was so mm -hmm. cute. But she be actually going. Mm -hmm. She be going crazy. With her little one eyelash. Mm -hmm. The last one I seen, one eyelash was, like, blue, and one eyelash was pink or something. I said she fights too damn much. But I'm kind of not like an ASMR person, so I watch the chewing one like without sound. I don't like you that. You know, I'm ASMR for the show, especially mm -hmm. with that shit. She just be hella funny the way she be staring. <laughs> she be like. <laughs> I don't think so. Mm -hmm. You want to call him for my phone? Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. He don't want my phone. Like, hey, good. <laughs> hey, you working? <laughs> That's what he'd be saying. Oh my God, here he got calling his phone. Hello? What's up? You miss your, you, 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 how does it feel on the first day, no dogs? I'm sad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> I knew you was going to feel a little sad. Yeah, I'm, almost, my, I'm a little I sad. My, I miss potato. Huh? What? I miss potato. What's tomatoes? I said potato. Who's potato? That's Cash. Oh, little guy. He's in good hands. That's his new name. Oh, they, they renamed it potato? Mm hmm. Oh, they didn't want to call him Cash? I guess not. Okay, they got they got the right to do that. It's their dog now, so they're just going to call him, come here, potato, come here, potato. What, he looks like a potato? No. No, <laughs> huh? he doesn't. Are you doing hair? Yes, I am. Damn. Where's the baby? Where's the baby at? Um, I don't know where he's at. He's with Berto and Ivana. Oh, the baby's with Berto and Ivana. He's with his daddy. Huh? He's with his daddy. And you're on speakerphone. Okay, that's good. Hello to every Hello, client. Hello. She said, hey. Okay, right on. So anyway, uh, that's good. 
Um, Bertrand did a good job in watching it. He did a really good job. They even gave me a summary of time by time what they did. That's, that's the way I taught him and raised him. You didn't teach him nothing. What? He learned that from his mama. Quit trying to take credit. Okay. No, all right. Dad's going to do nothing but try to take all the credit. Okay. Everything my boys do come from me. Everything my girl does come from my mother, the mother. No. That's why she's rich. <laughs> exactly. I know. Uh, well, I'm happy it worked out. Berto was really, he felt really good that you asked him to keep the little guy. Really? Made feel, yeah, it made him feel good. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, he was FaceTiming me and everything, and I was going, wee, wee, wee. And he, and he was looking. <laughs> It's good that you spread him around family, then he gets accustomed to family. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he got a chance to see Berto, and he was hanging. He, Berto was playing around with him. Berto's a good father. Yeah, he's a really good father. Yeah, it's hard to find a good father. Hard to find guys, guys that are, uh, you know, that, that are good fathers in the world. Right. You know. He's a really good dad. That's why I trust him. He's very yeah, attentive. He's, Oh yeah, he, and then you know Ivana, she's a nurse, so you know they, they, you know, they, did you have, do you got godparents for your son? Right? Yeah. Why? Well, I mean that's tradition, Bree. I mean you do what you want to do, but godparents is basically in case something ever happens to you and Dre. The godparents. I have godparents. Huh? I have godparents. Who's the godparents? Mark King. Mark King, okay, so he gonna be on he'll be on that meth and fed. Go ahead. <laughs> so as soon as he gets old enough, Mark will turn him on to methamphetamines, that, that crank. <laughs> Go ahead. And who's the mother? Who's the godmother? Godmother? The godmother the, is Huh? You said what? Who's the godmother? The godmother is Helen. Who Kelly? Helen. Who? Oh, Helen across the street? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, then he'll be speaking Spanish by the time he's three. Good. So you got a child that's speaking Spanish and on methamphetamine. Just, I don't just know, how I like it. La, 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 Como esta, señorita? Como esta? You got to see, too. Que on the That's just how I like it. <laughs> speaking Spanish on the chalk. I'll I'll teach him I'll uh I'll announce who his godparents are at his christening and his baptism. Okay, when is that gonna happen? When he all boils over. Oh, okay. So you oh you're gonna go ahead and baptize him? Yeah, I'm gonna baptize him at Easter Hill. There you go. Okay, okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. Put him in the hands. You gotta put. You, got, you, you gotta put him in the hands of the Lord. Okay. You gotta put him in the hands of the Lord. The Lord will watch him. That's good. Yep. A parents, Amen. Uh, amen. All you do is guide, but the Lord, the Lord will keep him safe. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen to that, Reverend Reverend Mario. So you like the uh, so the gumbo, right? Drake texted me and asked him, "Was the gumbo good?" Because when he pulled it out of the fridge, it looked like it had some stuff on the top. I said, "That's just a, a little bit of oil that came off them hot links." To, you know, when it chills down, kind of settles a little bit. So he eased it up and he said, "It's chewed. It was good." Okay. I said, "Dude, uh, Bree, I'm surprised Bree left you some." Right. So, well, tomorrow I'm gonna free whatever I don't eat tomorrow. I'm gonna freeze it unless you want to come get some. But yeah, I'll probably come get some more. Okay, because I'm I'll, I'll, tomorrow I'll freeze it. Whatever it I whatever we don't eat tomorrow is going in the fridge. Okay. And then maybe two or three, you know, like cut two or three months. I can always pull it back out. I don't want no two or three month old gumbo. What's that now? I don't want no two three month old gumbo. Shit, that's the best gumbo when it's frozen. Shit. And then Jeez. And then you and then you thaw it back out, throw some more crab in there. Shit, you got good ass. You got seasoned gumbo now. It's seasoned. That's gonna be freezer burn gumbo. No, it won't. Cause that ain't gonna be that long. It could be about three weeks, two to three weeks, and then you said three to four it. months. Three or four months? No, nah, not that long. Is that not what he just said? Did I say two or three months? 
I could have swore you did. Okay, well, I'm working, Dad. Okay, good night. God bless. Good night and God bless. Don't okay, let the bag buds bite. You know, you got to let old people just talk. No, and you should have let them say what they was going to say about Monique. What they was going to say, Monique was going to have you be gay. Now you being messy. Yep. Now you being messy. I don't know how they really feel. No, that's not for you to know. Then that's for you to ask them, not for me to be messy. <sighs> you won't tell me. Hey. I would tell you, but I'm not going to be messy. But Monique want me to be messy. He's talking about what about Monique. No, but your daddy has said it, though. I think that's a good thing. They yeah. believe in me. Yeah, but that's cute. He is right. Spreading them But now, Berto and them, they did a really no, good job. No, they did a great job. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, we lost all our TikTok people. I'm sorry. I was on the phone with my daddy. You know, you got to tell him he on speakerphone because he's just a gift <laughs> of talking. But yeah, Mark is his crackhead friend. <laughs> He'll be speaking Spanish from that rock. <laughs> He used to show. come over and be like, my name is Macalina, Tacalina, Hootensheimer, Wettenheimer, Hogan, Bogan, Bogan is my name. And bring us crunch bars. Y'all, he bought me some random dishes that he stole from Walmart <laughs> and left them on my porch. Mm -hmm. Remember he used to bring us all them stolen mm -hmm. candy bars? Sure did. That's what I'm saying, the crunch bars. Hella candy. And he used to steal bikes for us. Yep. I think that's probably how we got all our bikes. Yeah. Because we never had a bike under the Christmas tree. We never did. One Damn, time. now we now that I think about it, we never had a bike under the Christmas tree, but we always had a bike. Down from the training wheels to the ten speeds. Mongoose. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Y'all FYP, comment FYP in the comments so we can get the people back. Is that really a thing? Oh yes, that's definitely a thing. Really? If you hashtag FYP enough, yeah, you'll show up in FYP if you're not already there. Hmm. Something new every day, huh? Interesting. Hashtag FYP. You got a hashtag it? I forgot I had your gunboy boy home. I don't know you done in and out, but I'll still run through for you. I'm trying to save my coin. Mm -hmm. Damn, I wish I had known that while I was in Richmond. I wouldn't have asked that. Gumbo? Mm -hmm. No, you can't because they're going to ask how you got there. You're fucking right. You don't use your noggin. You definitely not the god mom. Wow. Not demoted just like that. Yeah, that's messy, right? Shit. Did he did he say two to three months or was I tripping? No, he did. Yeah. But he probably really meant two to three weeks. Yeah, because two to three months is crazy. The freezer burn gumbo. Not on YouTube, y'all. FYP. FRP. No. Not FRP. <laughs> FYP. You know YouTube is old. I'm to, and I'm just now choosing his godmother. I chose godparents for my son, but I might have to read you guys. Because I'm irritated. Yes. Yeah. He has two godmoms, but he doesn't have a he doesn't have a god dad though. Oh. Oh, you know who I probably thought, who I thought, or think would have, or could have possibly been a good guy dad? Yeah. Your whole best friend. Justin? Mm -hmm. If y'all was still, like, hella close to each other. He'd be reaching out to me and stuff, because, you know, he got a daughter. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like when you're in a relationship, like, even though we are close, um, it's just kind of weird that I'm, like, hitting your line all the time. Yeah. Because I feel like I wouldn't be comfortable with that as a woman. If my man had a bitch calling his phone all the time, you know? But see, that's when you have boundaries and you understand each other's boundaries. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, even if y'all don't talk all the time, when y'all do talk, you pick up where you left off. You know what I'm saying? It's no love loss. It's no time loss. No, that's no, what, and that's how we meet. Body acting funny. Yeah. And that's how, we, I mean, that's like how we are, but. And people don't really understand the definition of godparents. Like a godparent isn't a parent. That's not your child's parent. You know what I'm saying? Some people are very, 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 very active in their child's life. You know what I'm saying? Like, my ex and my goddaughter or whatever, she's extremely involved. But I'm not. But if something were to happen, 
I would be there. Yeah, I feel like that's how I am. Like, with Aria, I feel like I'm not there every day, but she lives an hour and 30 minutes away from me. Like, and that's you don't just, have to be there every day. It's, yeah. it's a godparent is the person that's supposed to pick up all of the pieces if something were to happen to you. That's when they, they pick up all of the pieces. Yes, be involved. You know what I'm saying? Yes, spend time with the, with the child. But you some people expect more from their Some people expect more, and that's the thing. That's where people get the, the title of a godparent messed up and that's why when i you know accepted the position of being poo poo's got mom they understand that you know what i'm saying they understand that but katrina and her children she don't understand that she don't understand because she expects me to do monday through friday no baby i didn't have that child i I didn't have that child my thing is like if i absolutely need it like you know like if you did, if I needed like help one day out the week or something, yeah. maybe they said. But I would not expect nobody Monday through Friday is crazy. Girl, baby. People, that's why you said people be expecting so much. For for me and you, it's definitely different. I feel like because we are um, FCs and we grew up together for real, and we know each other's ins and outs and do's and for the most part. You know what I'm saying? And you just know that I love your baby extremely much, like for whatever, whatever. But you're not the type of person that like day. I need you every day. Like, no. If necessary, you know what I'm saying, then there's some days I can and some days I can't. But you don't expect that. Like what? Yeah, like, no. Everybody's sleeping. What y'all saying over here? I have two male besties. They're the best. Oh, so Mo the God Mom. Okay, I don't have TikTok. She will reveal the godparents around her time. Now, Mo's a godmom, and so is my, uh, one of my best friends, Arya's mom, too. But I feel like I'm the type of person, like, first of all, I'm not even super religious, right. but, like, I get it. It's, like, a thing, so I did it. But I feel like at the end of the day, I'm my parents' parent. Like, I'm not going to be, like... Like, I don't expect nobody to watch or do for my child. Like, I'm going to watch and do for my child because I'm in a position to do so, which is why I made a baby. But it's like, you know, it's cool to have... It's cool to have people who, you know, have your back regardless, you know? But I'm not one of those people who's like, you're his god, mom, you didn't take him school shopping? Like, what? Right, yeah, no. Like, no. I has everything he needs, but if you want to do anything in addition, that's on you. No, but I'm definitely, I can't wait for his birthday. Oh, I can't wait. And I'm oh thinking about doing it before his birthday, but I'm like, no, I'll wait. Here you go. You're going to get cussed out. Right, by your mama. That's so weak. But that is something that I want to purchase, unless his father really want to do it. But I know that's one thing that I want to What is it? I want to get him a bracelet. Oh. <laughs> Either a bracelet or a chain. You know, he gonna break either or. You feel like he be ripping them things off his fin- off his hand? Yeah, I don't know if he'll rip the, cha- uh, the bracelet, though. Nah. I wanna get a bracelet that says Kyrie. Kyrie! I'm trying to think if I should get his ears pierced. What y'all think? Mm. This one? This one. No, because I don't want my baby to be in pain. Girl, get over it. He gets shots. I'm going to call him Tato. <laughs> what? Potato. Potato. How do you even tell me? Just kidding. I'm going to call him Kaida. I've been calling him. I know. I've been starting to call him Little Stinky. I like Stinky. Little Kaida means the Kaida Wada, the Kaida Wada, 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 Kaida Wada. Y'all, he's just the happiest baby. I wish y'all could see him. Maybe y'all can. He just be a smiling humo. Mm-hmm. He be like, he's so cute. He talks a lot. I'm I'm nervous. I'm real nervous. I don't think he's gonna shut up. No, he's the not. other day. He just was a going. I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. He just a day. <laughs> what else did you do today? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Hey, we already smiling at the TV. Wait, Mo. Is it your turn with the dog yet? Oh, yeah, I got him. He in the car. <laughs> he is in the car. Probably pissed the fuck. Like, bitch, you just left me at home for how long? And I just in the car. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I got him. Bash, 
Glass natural red bean got it. Yeah, with lumps and bumps. Don't do my friend. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of the hate. No way, no reason. I y'all know her schedule. I still call my son Stinker Stinker. Stinker Doodle. He about to be 23. Girl, go to hell. I ain't think call him dude. I'm still gonna call him dude. But that stink shit, no. <laughs> I think that's okay for a girl, but a boy, no. I don't know though. Stink. I stink. I stink, yeah. Stinky nigga. wanky. <laughs> I think a boo. I think. Keep asking me to share. I'm about to collapse. Mm. Mm. Probably would have been caught up by that, but it's so all right. Too hot. Too hot. <laughs> oh, y'all sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were by the stairs. <laughs> I'm delusional. Can't even watch the little menu thing. Yes, we can. Okay, you gotta put um, I love TV app on your TV. So I can stream it. Mm. Mo, when you gonna cook on live? Same as for you, Tana. I done cooked all the dishes I know how to make. We can do it again. We gonna do it one day on Panda Plus One again. Y'all, we was just rewatching that video when we was trying to cook them crabs. That shit was hilarious. That was hilarious, bro. Why were they so alive and so strong? <laughs> I don't know. Them motherfuckers was strong, bro. Do you ever watch our video? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wait, how'd you find me? Uh, YouTube. So you do watch the videos. Wait, are you talking about okay, yeah, number one about or just, in, just general? in general? Oh, yes. Okay. I was like, I've never seen that page, but... I subscribe to you and stuff. You lady. Do I act like I act on camera? Yeah. What's different? I don't twerk. <laughs> da, da da da. I don't that you twerk really anything. I'm pretty much the same. I would say so. Do you have hollow tattoos? I have 20. Wow. Damn. You got like a sleeve? Mm -mm. I'm just kind of just like random places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have a tramp stamp? Mm -mm. <laughs> Amen. You have, you don't have a tramp stamp. No. You do. No, the fuck Four. I don't. You don't? <laughs> Hell no. Uh, what? I just got a billboard of names. She be getting names tatted on her. Why do you keep doing that, girl? I did my own name. Phenomenal. Yes. Nobody calls you that. No, you're not telling the truth because everybody calls me that. You should if you listen to China, like when I'm on the phone, or I'm a one day when we're together, like tomorrow, we'll be together tomorrow, and she calls me phenomenal. Everybody on TikTok, everybody on Bigo, I'm phenomenal. Even on my own second Instagram, I'm phenomenal. <laughs> These people don't call me phenomenal because they didn't meet me as phenomenal. They met me as Mo. I started at 8 o'clock, y'all. It's 11.30. And you call me Mo. But only the real ones know me as Mo. I'm not just showing y'all real ones. The real ones know her as Mo. I said Mo. Like, girl, I felt the coming. No, you didn't. <laughs> That's your own insecurities. I know you. My blicky is on the dresser.
gonna give up bad rap. We gonna give up bad rap. Betty, Betty, shut up. Would you stay with Drake if he sold drugs for a living? No. What? No, because I feel like at a certain age, you gotta, get some you gotta do better. And especially since we have a kid, and I have way too much to lose to be with a nigga selling drugs. Like, that's just dumb. Like, that's just dumb. I have way, much to, way, way too much to lose. We have standards over here, guys. Mm -hmm. Although, you know, I'm a little hood. I'm a little hood rat. Like, I'm a little more hood than she is, so she is. I ain't got kids either. Because I feel like for me, like at this age, that would just be like the easy way out. Not saying that it's like easy, but I'm like, no, it definitely is. That's just not no type of dude I want to be with. That shit you do in high school, like, it's childish to me. Unless you a kingpin. Like, what are you selling? Nickel and dime bags? Like, what is it giving? What is it giving? Like, no. The fuck? No. But I feel like it would depend on the circumstances. Like, if we were down bad or something, and like, you know. But that's not easy either. That's, and that shit is dangerous as fuck. Like, yeah, like I said, I just have too much to lose. Like, and it could possibly lose him. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers be out here. We watch, I watch too much TV for that. Me too. Yeah, people want to set you up. Yeah, and like, no. Um, too much. Like I said, I got too much to lose. And then we're not even in a position where you gotta do no dumb ass shit like that. Like, I'd rather you just not work. Well, hey, Cashew Chicken, what's up? I didn't even see you pop on in here. I actually hate getting here, so that's actually a blessing. Mm -hmm. ah. She told me to throw it back. I bow. She told me to throw it back. Go bow. So I put the loaf in the mouth for loud. Y'all, I really threw up earlier today. Did you think I was going to cancel my client? Um, no, but I was prepared for it if you did. I was really thinking in my head, like, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. No, because you were like, I'm like, no, I was hella quiet though, right? Yeah. I, I got a whiff of it. I don't think the pine got a whiff of it, but I'm like, oh. No, it had to come out, Mo. I don't no, know what it was. I know. Yeah. Get that up here. Get and that I kept, like, every time I stood up, I kept filming it, you know? Yeah. What? I have no. She told me throw it back, go bow. So I put that little in his mouth, go bow. Thank 
you y'all. That was a lot of work. Now I gotta go home and wash my hair. Oh, thank God. Let me bring the blow dryer. Because I haven't been able to wash my hair. Cute. What do you mean? It looks cute. It is cute. Rip Did y'all see me do Monique's hair on live that night? I don't think the back of his hair looks like a grease mop. Mm. You don't look greasy. Yeah, I did. That was good. Matt thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, the hair is giving. It's like after we did this, I'm going to have to hang y'all up now. Because we got to take pictures. I'm definitely going to have to razor these. Let's go in color. Should I keep like messaging you when I want to get an appointment or should I just book? Cause I never know like. Wait, what do you mean keep messaging? Um, like on Instagram? Um, either way. It doesn't matter. Like, Why? Are we taking on response? No, I'll be feeling like I'm bothering you. Nah. I, I Why mean, do y'all feel like that? Do I give off bothering me vibes? No. Or is it just you thinking that? It's just me cause I know you're busy so I, I I'm feeling bad. Nah. Y'all don't be bothering me. First of all, I don't be re remembering shit. So, like, sometimes you might have to double text me. But, like, no. You guys are never bothering me. Mm -mm. I'd be just curious because heck of people be saying that. They're like, I feel like I'm bothering you. But it's like, you're not bothering me. Yeah, that's really, a, like, a me thing. Mm -hmm. China's gonna get a kettle and she's about to give it to me. I'm juiced. Who? China. She's about to get a kettle. Yeah, she's getting a free kettle from her job. I said, I need that. She's like, oh, for your braids? Thanks. Because, oh, sorry. Because mm -hmm. I use a, a pot on the stove and I put it in a Kool Aid pitcher. Oh, you get though. Yeah, At least you got a Kool Aid pic picture though. Yeah, no, I had to get one because dipping it in that pot will get it. Oh, let me at least read your comments. My bad. Dip, baby, dip. I'm heck of a week. Now, zip, baby, zip. Come on, I zip, baby, zip. Girl, if you don't just sell her the book online, you need to start a no DMs policy. Terry, shut up. She, you usually be booking online though, right, Brie? I tried to, yeah. Yeah. Tyree, it's hard for people to get in online. It's like playing a lotto. No, I'm just kidding. It ain't that hard, but it's kind of hard. Is it that hard? No, it is. I don't know. It depends. Sometimes I'll go and I'll see appointments, and then other times, like, there's nothing. But, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> But this time she uh 
This time it's because you were modeling. Because I posted, right? For the color? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I need to get my lashes done tomorrow. I got a boss bottle inside now, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Give me alopecia to lie. Oh my god. I need to feel. Yes, if you don't book on the 20th. Wait, who was that? Oh, Tara! We just did her hair. Oh, hi, Tara. We was just talking about you. You was on TikTok with this hat on. Wait, what was we just saying about her? No, I didn't report your My last client. Oh, we did the fuck out of her braids. What were we saying about her? Um, that we ate her braids up. But we said something else. I don't know. We forgot. We were speaking on you, Tara. The kids. Well, y'all can text me. Or you can text my phone number before the 20th, and I'll get y'all in. Like, if you know what day you want. Mm-hmm. But I don't know why. Even you, Tara, like, I be telling y'all, but I do appreciate y'all booking online. Sometimes it's just easier because I do text back slow. Mm -hmm. How's your bestie doing? She's doing good. She just uh, was in Italy. Oh, nice. Studying or just visiting? Studying abroad. Oh, oh wow. Nice. She was hella funny, Mo. You would have loved her. You, Tara? No, her best, uh, Bree's best friend. What's her name? Haley. Haley, there you go. She be still getting her hair braided? She does a lot of, like, she does her own hair a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Like, not braiding it, but just, you know, styling Weaves it. Weaves or whatever. Yeah. Why you moved the camera? <laughs> because you're not going to do me like this, buddy. Like, like what? I'm not going to play with you. What are you talking about? Why is she sitting with that hat on there like that? <laughs> Why are you doing me like this, Monique? I'm like, not going to take your shit. Like, I'm not. Wow, she sounds like a girl. Um, Wait, talk to me in a regular voice? Excuse me? Talking in your regular voice? For what? Because why do you sound hella girly? Because I am a fucking girl, right? No, you're Auntie Study. <laughs> I'm really. You're Auntie Study, boo. I am not Auntie Study, honey. You miss nigga. <laughs> That's daddy my right there. <laughs> Ooh. She my boyfriend. Auntie nigga. You know Auntie that? nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Stud teeth? What is that? What they call it? Stud teeth? Study for some teeth. A stud teeth? Stud, stud teeth? I remember you did it after you did that. That's what I'm talking about. Teamwork. Maggie Mees. Ooh. <laughs> it wasn't giving. burning now. Stay down there too long. Mm. I said I love the teamwork. Okay. She finna go to track and shit. Mo? She finna go run the full line and shit. You finna go run the full line? She do, she do the way her shirt looked it up, huh? Hell yeah. She like, she finna go to track. Track. Track me. Oh my god. Damn, my baby false flagging. Yeah. Baby false flagging today. Leave me alone. No. I, I got NBA socks and Adidas shoes. Not the knees are oh, giving. Oh, I do got on Nike. Shut up. Leave me alone, China. Girl. So I got this Tommy Hilfiger shirt on. These Nautica shoes. Tommy Hilfiger? We don't fuck with him. Mm, you're canceled. Canceled. I don't rock that shit either. Y'all rock Timberlands too, huh? And don't. Um, I wear champions. <laughs> I That's wear, what my bra is. I wear Converse. You know what I wear. I wear the same shit every day. Converse, leggings, and double collection. It's them, it's them like some of uh, what you call it? Why are they so thick? Oh, these are the high, uh, high soles. Oh, okay. Them dope, though. Thank you. Got my stuff is at Ross, baby. You know how high is it. Me. 
you are not a drill, huh? <laughs> not a drill, son. I might have went over the with that little setting spray, but it's okay. I'm going to be oiled now. Virginia. In the car. Why'd you get in? Who told you to get in? Alright, TikTok, I gotta call y'all back because I gotta take pictures. But I love y'all. Thanks so much. The spray is um it's by Pro the Stylist. I usually use um Auntie Jackie's Shine Boss, but I'm out of it, so I'm using this. But I like this. It goes crazy. Okay, bye TikTok. Love for y'all. I gotta use this bye phone to take a uh, yeah, to pictures. Yeah. Oh, Mo, you got a fourteen? Yeah. Let me use that. That's come up off that. Call her right back. <laughs> I forgot. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on. She got a fourteen, Bree. She tried to play us. <laughs> Hell yeah. Give me that quality. Give me that quality. Let's see what this camera hitting for. Let's see. If it's hitting, I'm going to go out and get it tomorrow. Ooh, bitch. <laughs> I'm getting this shit tomorrow. Well, tomorrow we're going to the T-Mobile store. All right. I need to turn it off. Holy shit. No, that camera go crazy. No, this camera. Wait a minute, y'all. Because this camera goes stupid. I can't swipe because, you know, I'm on Monique phone. You can swipe. Shut the fuck. Oh, you can't even tell on this camera. You can't even tell. No, y'all not getting the full quality. Y'all not getting the full quality. Y'all gonna have to follow me on Instagram. Okay. Sorry. I just need 27 more. That's good. <laughs> yes, that's hella fucking cute. Oh my God. Don't look down. Look at your eyes. Look at the camera. There we go. Mm hmm. Damn, this shit hella cute. Mm. Let me do that bitch, period. Look at the camera. LGBTQ. <laughs> <laughs> Not LGBTQ. I need to see that TikTok. What? Oh, oh I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. LGBTQ. LGBT. <laughs> no, no, no. That shit's hella <laughs> funny, bro. <laughs> Alright, TikTok, yeah. I'm really gonna have to call y'all back because I gotta show her LGBT. <laughs> I really gotta show her LGBT. That hurt? Mm -mm. Okay. Damn, uh, Brie, you usually be having your nails done. I know. Or just do it, like, separate the hair, you know? Like how we do it when we dip in. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would still put some black on top of it. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're going mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. Or, I'm sorry, another idea. That's cute where you do it like this. You know? Yeah. Put this over 
I barely breathe. Oh, that's not that Shit. Why is this? There we go. LG Benti Q. LJ Benti. Well, you posted for the unicorn, right? LJ Benti. You need broader shoulders. <laughs> LJ Benti. Okay, hold on, let me see. Okay. TikTok, I gotta call you back because I gotta show her. I gotta show her LJ Benti. If you want to see the TikTok, y'all could come on uh, YouTube because it's hella funny, bro. Or if y'all follow Curva, yeah, then y'all probably know what it is. I'm sorry, I just neckified you. Oh, no, you did. Made you naked. Okay, I got to call you back. I got to show you this before you leave because this shit's hella funny. <laughs> so, y'all, me and Monique, we don't say LGBTQ anymore. We say LGBTQ. Let me pop. We say LGBTQ. Let's see. So, Curvo, you be on TikTok, right? You follow Curvo Bella? I don't have a TikTok. Oh, he live right now. I'll be sending him gifts. No, you're not getting shit from me right now. <laughs> but this is why we say LG Ben, thank you. Oh, right here. This shit got 12 million views. This shit was so fucking funny. <sighs> YouTube, I'm on YouTube. I hit my, my head on the door yesterday. Okay, just make sure I don't have a concussion. Like, y'all look at her I hair. Is it giving me? Do y'all love it or what? You know, I appreciate her having me well, back in the because that's what her best friend is supposed to do. But just the thing that she said to me and how she was okay. upset when you came to California like, if you're happy with your friend, like, if you're happy for your friend, you should be happy for your friend. But she was pissed off that you came to California. Monique, are you like the best friend of all? This is prime time. Yeah, so y'all. 
Oh, you too. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, you too. Left. How long are you gonna keep the muggle mud? Probably. Okay. Those posts about her so and and all that shit. See you later, alligator. Thank you. You're welcome. Be careful, okay? You too, guys. Get home safe. Bye. Get home safe. I'm uploading videos tomorrow to this channel and to Panda Plus One finally. Good night, LJ Ben. Thank you. I'm getting my lashes done tomorrow too. <laughs> no. LJ Ben, thank you. LJ Ben, thank